Megan Fox. Yeah, Megan Fox has the story. Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Megan Fox writes at PJ Media. Each Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <man. laughs> I cried for two days. <laughs> Megan, thank you very much for that. So, um, I can, I can explain the bed thing. <laughs> if you don't show up and vote, up your ass. I don't care if you're in the hospital. Don't crawl to the state. Crawl there. It's like Jesus going into the temple. He's like, I got a whip. <laughs> Get out. Get, Get out. out. The lovely and wonderful Megan Fox. Not that hey. one. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not the weird one that drinks blood and has toe thumbs. Megan Fox. Megan. And honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. She's the devil. Megan. Megan Fox. Megan. Megan. Megan Fox. I've been very nice to you, although I could probably maybe not be based on the way you have treated me, but I wouldn't do that. You've never met a like me. You want to tangle? You want to go? Holy. Holy sh too much cussing on this. I guess we didn't believe it, so we got to turn it off. But I just, it just, it's. It's you pissed off the wrong woman. Oh my God! I have been a soup when Megan Fox runs wild on you, brother. She's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Not for publication. <laughs> the story. I'm Megan. 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 Megan Fox. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Dropping bombs on your new Mic drop, fit along Try to press news, mainstream spinning But I won't play that game A nuclear flow turning at you for motivational flame Megan Fox crushing all the talking heads As they spoon feed their paid piggies Gotta keep them misled With blazing Lego vision I see it on the signs Exposed in the agenda Miss these epic rhymes this intellectual on the song On the mainstream Can burn water, but I'm spitting facts. Top shelf, sorting max facts, reporting news, and not like you make it. I'm award winning, and I don't have to.
to fake it. Megan Fox and all thin voice. Giving the masses a hard hit choice. That umbrella guy hammering his song. While Megan Fox writes those wrongs. Now we hit the end of this tune. And you never knew By the time I press single eyes are through Break the stories while you're chasing hunches I'm a new titan Never pulling punches Well, well, well Welcome <laughs> 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 that song, that's the first time I've gotten to like just sit down and listen to it with my volume correct, you know, for everything. I was like, damn, that actually came out pretty good. <laughs> it slaps, Tug. It slaps. Oh, Tug, you are like a lyrical genius. Oh, I love making songs. I love it. If if there's something to make fun of someone with, I'm there. <laughs> I, am, I am there. <laughs> okay, my favorite part of that new song is, yeah, I burn water. <laughs> <laughs> but i'm spitting spitting facts but I spit oh my facts. God. yeah oh it's so good it's so good so tug has this amazing ability he can write songs he can write lyrics and then he gets his ai machine to i don't know fire it up get a beat and uh, it's incredible so i hired tug to write me a new intro just to annoy you people who say the intro is too long i've now made the intro you're gonna have to hear see two intros a day now tonight i played three just for fun because i knew it would annoy some of you and i i there was some payback payback had to be done for all the people all over this last year who said why is your why is your intro so long hey megan why is your intro so long <laughs> 30 more seconds tug <laughs> <laughs> Every time someone asks me that, I'm like, I'm adding 30 more seconds. Uh, that's what happened with the Flashcast, and now it has a 14-minute long intro. <laughs> yeah, That's what I'm yeah. going for. I'm going for the uh, the 13-minute long intro. Yep. Eventually, I kind of like that. It. I can get up and, you know, actually get something to eat and do whatever. Man, I can watch part of a show <laughs> doing that. I, when <laughs> One time, Flash was like, hey, watch this. Uh, it was like a 30 minute show. So I, I cut off like part of it and I, I finished, I was like, man, you know, I finished an entire episode of this, you know, 30 minutes without commercials and stuff. It was right on there after he did his uh, discussion and introduced people. I was like, dude, I finished the whole episode. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my God. Annie, if you say it's too long, one more time, I'm going to add six more minutes, 60 six minutes, more minutes. There won't even fact, be a live you know stream. In fact, I will just play it again. You're ready. I will play it again. I have my finger on the button. I will play this shit again. Do not think <laughs> pull this over. Do I like that song so much? I could play it all day long. Uh, okay. So turns out that Otter Creek had like a town hall meeting tonight, and it got canceled. So there's a live stream over at Madam Mayor's channel, and I backed up to see what was the news. So like, let's watch and see what was the news. I know. Go see like what's on the door them. over here. It does look like there's a note. I know, Madam Mayor, you didn't put that up there, did you? Sure didn't. <laughs> Can you read it to us, though, loud and clear? I sure will. Notice, the monthly town hall meeting scheduled tonight at 7 p.m. will be canceled due to one of the councilmen being unable to attend our next scheduled meeting will be April 16th of 2024. April 16th. Now that's when they have to position all those seats, right? All yep. four of them. That's right. Since there's no election at that meeting, all four will be seated and then they can go forward with a full board and everything should be, should be should smooth be, sailing, right? right? Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But, Otter things have happened. I don't say that enough. But you know what? <laughs> I can guarantee you if this meeting wasn't can canceled, we would have had two board members walking out just like last time. I would bet money on it. Yeah, I would too. 100%. So, so that's right. interesting. Yeah. So no meeting, although the live stream is still going and they're like talking to people outside. I don't really even know what was supposed to go down at this meeting. I have not gotten into the Otter Creek lore, but look at this. It's like a party out there. Are they tailgating a town hall meeting? It looks like it. I mean, 
What is happening? <laughs> you want me to arrest you? Never been arrested. Who's got the cuffs? I have what the is Batman theme on. song, the chipmunk song. I bet you have. Baby got back. <laughs> Black Betty. We've got drinks and koozies, inflatable toys, <laughs> uh, crazy sunglasses. Like what it does. Is it happening? looks like tailgating. It really does. <laughs> this looks like the most fun place ever to live. I like the chugging of the drinks. Like I just had the greatest. I stopped on the greatest screenshot and then I lost it. She was like chugging her drink, and there's like, it's this is just so random and so funny. Continue. Russell was trying to put his minions in those seats, and they didn't apply for those That's seats. That's not illegal. What was the legal that is a, that is illegal. Russell. So once a month, the residents of Otter Creek get, go down to town hall and then they argue amongst one another while they ta tailgate and film each other. <laughs> Is that what's happening here? It seems like it. <laughs> I like dudes overalls, though. Yeah, I would actually uh, talk to Madam Mayor. I see her all the time. And people are like, man, you should, you know, I, I want to know the lore. So. I know I do too. We should have her on maybe to explain it. Like what is the go been going on over here? Where she's doing tomorrow. I got a wide open day tomorrow. What is going on with the electric guitar? I need to know. I need to know these things. <laughs> I just need to know. Like I, I need somebody from an inside position to tell me the lore, you know? I know. Cause I still haven't caught up and I, you know, I love town hall board meeting nonsense. If you guys know me, I love suing boards that, that do bad things. And, uh, you know, so whatever it is they're doing that they shouldn't be doing, I want to know about it. But I just think it's so funny. These people are just hanging out at this canceled town hall meeting and like we got a live stream going here. Is it still going? I think it might still be going. Let's see. Are we still live? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I think it just ended oh, two just seconds ended. ago. <laughs> it That's just funny. ended. I hope we get an influx over here. We've got a thousand of you here in chat right now. It? Make yeah. sure that you hit the like and subscribe. The, her channel i you know she had nine thousand live but only twenty five thousand subs i'm like man more people should give sub more, give you know? us some more subs guys nine thousand yeah. all right so i guess the tailgating is over at the otter creek town hall just in time for you guys to head on over here to see what tug and i have uh for you <laughs> and uh we've got i like this meeting was canceled no arrests oh. Not, all right yeah so I, I, we got some super chats. Let me get to them real quick. Marisa, not young, not Jung, become a YouTube member. Thank you. Welcome to the Fox Den. And so did Auntie Shelly's kitchen. Welcome to the Fox Den. It's pretty weird in here. But <laughs> that scared the in. hell out of me. I was like, what is that? <laughs> You've heard of Fox before. You're from Tennessee, <laughs> right? You know what they sound like? Yeah, but it's not usually in my room. You know, I was like, what? <laughs> I know. It's scary, isn't it? Yeah. Fallen hero. The, 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 the worst thing to hear out in the wild is a peacock, though. Those things. Really? Oh my, I, oh I always God. thought it was a fox because when we hear foxes out here, it's like someone's being murdered in the woods. <laughs> well, that's the peacocks. They scream. They sound like weird, like weird kids. And they're, you know, you get a few of them in a tree. So you're walking under a tree and all of a sudden something <laughs> in the tree starts screaming like some kind of crazy, <laughs> like inbred child. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> Susan Scat thinks so the super chat says, Megan, I'm told that YouTube channel admins can add us iPhone, iPad users to join your channel. I heart your shows. I don't know anything about any of that. I don't know nothing about <laughs> no YouTube memberships, ma'am. I wish I can did. Add you to I. I don't. I don't, I don't know. A, I don't think an admin can just add you as a member. I don't think so. Yeah. David E. Jones says Mark Feather it to fifteen minutes. The intro. <laughs> That's a good idea. Maybe it should be 15 minutes. Johnny Polson says, Megan, you are lazy and have a short intro. That's definitely the way to get me to just leave it alone. All right. Teresa Finn, thanks for the super chat, says your intro needs to be 15 minutes. We've got two <laughs> votes. 15 minutes, two votes. Uh, Susan Scat says, I was able to join that umbrella guy. Well, that's cool. Congratulations. Awesome. Maybe it's yeah. just my stream. I don't Maybe it's just my channel. I don't, I don't know what the problem is. Uh, but the night stream is the time when I get to turn off my camera and just do a little ASMR for you. Here's a good one. Pull up your headphones for this sound. Ready? Oh, that's a good sound. Cracking open the night's first <laughs> Diet Coke. Hey, speaking of sounds, I, I I think I got my uh, I think I got my first song done about the the Hell's Mass. You know, Welcome to the Hat Rack. I think. Oh, I want to hear that. Sarah Adams is this a real life Shit's Creek? <laughs> <laughs> it, is kind of what it, looks like. it does say like it, doesn't it? 
<laughs> and Rosalind says, I love Tug's perm. Yeah, why do you have a, a permed mullet in your icon? <laughs> that's a that's my lover boy one. I've got um <laughs> You look like Clayton got, Eckert. I was covering uh you remember that show, the pickup artist that came on VH1? You know, it's uh yes. if you never Okay. No, I saw oh, it. I read the book. Did you? Look, look, I've got a pickup artist one, and I've got like that's uh, Mystery's hat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and people, if you've never seen that, that is the funniest, cringiest show you will ever see. Just watch it. Don't look it up. Just find that show. I recommend the book. It. Have you read oh. the book? Oh yeah, yeah. I thought that. I mean, all of that insane. was just the funniest stuff. But amazingly, though, like it just goes to show and this is what I was trying to tell people, but I got yelled at. But like, really, you just need confidence as a man yeah. <laughs> and women will fall all over you. If you're confident enough, you can be as weird as hell yeah. and it doesn't matter. I'm a, I'm a weird person, man. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm kind of an odd person. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm self-assured, so I'm good to go. Uh, Captain Kern, thanks for becoming a YouTube member. It's weird in here. Uh, and uh, also, thank you for gifting five Fox memberships. Did I scare you again with the Fox? No, I was just laughing at his. <laughs> I know, it's so funny. I couldn't find a better one. And I just oh thought it was God. weird enough to be hilarious. That's Janice perfect, Wingfield anyway. says, I'm going to put you in a hat rack, Tug. Put me in the hat rack. <laughs> yeah, I had to. I had to drop a beat on that. I actually was proud of being told I was going to be put on the hat rack. Oh, please share it. I want to see this this Check new this song. Out. Now this is this is where I've gotten to. And oh uh, I, I think I this one's good. Meme. I love it. I like it too because uh, lyrics will show up on it. You know. I love and, this. Uh, okay, it's uh, a minute and forty five seconds, so it's not very long. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. To the hat rack. There's so many good lines in there. And it's funny that we're playing music tonight, our originals, original music, because the topic of tonight's show is a person who um, can't decide what she wants to be when she grows up. And so there's a whole lot of things that she might be. She thinks she might be a singer, songwriter, uh, which is debatable. Um, I think she should stick <laughs> with AI. I think AI could write a better song. You want me to drop a beat for you, lady? You know, <laughs> I'm the joke list and I know it. <laughs> she also wants to be a journalist, but I don't see that she has anything written anywhere. And I can't find any evidence of her writing any articles. I, all I can find is just like weird screeds on Facebook, which really doesn't make anybody a journalist. You know, that's kind of a problem. So. I have these, I, I was sent a couple of things. It's always a bad sign, Tug, when somebody has created several, not just one, but several Facebook pages to make fun of you. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. So here's That's one. That's perfect, though. 
here's one blessed little trolls and their minions a thousand likes and 1100 <laughs> followers <laughs> It's a satire, social commentary, opinions, and news pushing back against the cult of willful ignorance, dubious assertions, and batshit crazy social media manipulators. Thinking is good. Critical thinking is better. So I thought we'd go through, because in the last couple of days, since, you know, Tug, since you and I did the last show that we did on your stream, she really went crazy. <laughs> like the joke list. <laughs> The joke list went a little nuts and she posted a bunch of the stuff. So I thought we'd go through it. Terry Smith, Fox, Fox. Wait, I need my, my weird voice. Fox is allowing slanderous, libelous comments all over her videos about Michelle. And she doesn't block those. She too is slandering Michelle for her abuser and cash story. She's fabricating. Wait, what's a abuser and cash story for her abuser and cash story i'm confused <laughs> <laughs> me too grammar is a skill but i made a comment to tell her cps was there nearly 15 times to correct her and she then blocks me and then jeremy jumps onto the video in a rage to slander me he watches everything i say he knows i'm not a jokalist or a monetized wagon jumper i'm here for the victims and I won't be intimidated by boohoo or trolls. What's boohoo? Yeah. I don't know, Who's but to get monetized, you have to have a thousand people that actually give a shit about what you say, and you have to have four thousand watch hours. That's why you're not monetized. <laughs> oh, and on on Facebook, it's even harder. You have to have ten thousand to get monetized on Facebook because I'm hovering at like nine point something. Uh, I'm still not monetized on Facebook. Well, she has me beat on Facebook. I'm banned, so I guess she can say that. Also, she said that I banned her, but I just want to let her and everybody else know. I don't ban anybody, I but I do have mods. Hmm. So if the mods were annoyed by something that she did, it's possible that they banned her. Uh, but I never saw her in the chat. But I don't ban anybody. I'm too busy doing my stream. <laughs> exactly. Um, I don't know what's going on in the chat. Well, and, and if she's talking about like getting banned on uh, my channel, same way, you know, I don't. My rules are unless you're channel damaging. So if she came in, you know, I, I'm not saying you did, but if you came in dropping in bombs or something, that would be a no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Know? I have rules on my channel that are very lax, but they're, any words that could get me in trouble with YouTube, I don't want to see. Mm -hmm. And no and, dog. That's what and I know. Mean. Yeah. And like, if there's anything that could get us in trouble with YouTube, we don't do it. But other than like, if you're just insulting me, that doesn't get you banned or anything. Yeah. Um, now you can't spam the chat. That will get you banned. Yeah. Spamming the chat is also a problem. So maybe she was spamming. I don't know. She's if obsessed can, with you. You know, it's funny she, is I can talk all the shit is. I want. I can talk all the shit I want and she'll blame you for it. So that's great. I know. <laughs> I know this all happened on your channel. I know. And, and she's like, oh my God, how dare Megan Fox? Megan Fox is a slanderer. <laughs> like I, it's it's very strange. She doesn't know what words mean. Um, I mean, she could if she were a journalist, she could do an expose on me. There's plenty of people out there who hate me. You know, jokalist, you should go find some of them. They could do an expose. In fact, one of her favorite people, Robert Beatty, hates me. She hates Robert Beatty too, but he hates me. So maybe the two of you should team up together. <laughs> yeah, you'll be like, oh my God, you could have so many fun names with that. You know, oh. it's the joke list and Master Beatty. They're dropping. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know what this says. There's no grammar, there's no punctuation, and it's just a wall of text. So here we go. I'm going to try. I certainly do, and I'm fighting or for Russell's term and justice all the way. He's an innocent public official, and his innocence and restoration of his good name and the innocence and restoration of Mary's good name and the liberties of Michelle will dominate the rap sheets and plots. Don is a hero and always will be. Warm is the best attorney, <laughs> but <laughs> the judge is fair and correct. To underestimate my ability was the first mistake. <laughs> Handling my concerns like thugs was the second mistake they created their own deficit. Thinking the new journalists have the power to dissolve the real facts in this case with their cash-grabbing frenzy is a third mistake. The frenzy 
will be dimmed by the noise of justice up ahead. Their confidence and complacency will shift. They seem to think the truth can be contained, and they think they own the First Amendment. But this is American for everyone. It, this is American. <laughs> this is American for everyone. <laughs> this is American for everyone. And it just doesn't work on a one-way track. And justice is king, not the strong man. Oh my God, my head hurts. What the what hell? What the fuck does that did mean? I just read? <laughs> and what? justice is king, not the strong man. Okay. I like, uh, but uh, they own the First Amendment. But this is American for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little flag too. What is Look the noise? Fly. What's the noise of justice? Is that like the sound of silence? Uh, it's the noise of justice. Yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, it's the sound of a, a flag flapping and, and foxes <laughs> screaming, I guess. I'm it's not sure. It's the sound of one hand clapping. <laughs> That's easy, though. Uh, you know, I, my kids were like, here. here. My my kids were like, oh, that, I know what that is, Dad. I was like, what? They're like, uh, so they pat on their chest. I was like, yeah, I guess that's right. That's when they <laughs> clapping. Oh, this this is a good one. This is good. Um, somebody tried to tell me he would be charged today if he hasn't already. There were notifications. Then the joke list puts a bunch of percentage signs, which I don't understand what that means. <laughs> Does anyone know what percentage signs are supposed to signify? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? You did not want to look at the story before reporting lies all over the world against an innocent person? That's journalism? I have this case. Oh, that's funny. Then post it. Then case. fucking post this stuff on the guy. She still hasn't posted this stuff. I mean, Where she's ranting and shit. Okay, let me, let me see. How do you have this case? How? How? You're going to have to explain to me how you have this case. Let me show you how I have this case. And I mean, I don't care. I'll share it with you. If you want to report on this case, I'm not keeping you out of it. I'm not a gatekeeper. I don't do that. But here we go. Here's where I write as a journalist. You see my bio is right here. Award-winning journalist. Top shelf, some say. <laughs> and here are my articles. Now, here's one about your crazy county. Five Florida circuit judges defend pervert lawyer in weird cover-up. Here's another one. What the hails Florida judge attacks free speech of YouTubers and journalists. And see what happens if you click on them. It takes you to this thing we call an article. And then this, you can oh. read through it. And then there's links to things. And, oh, oh you know, hearing footage. This is how, and then people can comment on it and talk about their theories of the case. <laughs> She's going to be like, hearing footage? I don't hear anything when I'm scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm broken. Oh no. Oh, you know what I forgot? Well, we, I forgot to play. Oh, I screwed it up so much. Okay. We have to read this last part again because I have something downloaded on the soundboard just for it. Their confidence and complacency will shift. They seem to think that the, the truth can be contained. And they think that they own the First Amendment. But this is American for everyone. And it just doesn't work on a one-way track. And justice is king, not the strong man. Oh, man. And that was the rock is red, green. That is so American. It made my nipples hard in the shape of eagles. <laughs> Ooh, if that happened, then what would happen if I did this? <laughs> Ooh, boy. Well, I'm pinching my own Mount Rushmore, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah do you ever do you ever like like i don't know some stupid shit comes out of my mouth and i'm like what, what did that's that's kind of funny did i just say that <laughs> now i don't know so i don't know if the person 
who runs this page posted this, but it was the definition or the root of jealousy. <laughs> Research has identified many root causes of extreme jealousy, including low self-esteem, high neuroticism, and feeling possessive of others, particularly romantic partners. Also, she's getting a little obsessive with me, too. There's like a whole bunch. And oh, she mentions DUI guy in this one. Oh, but she's like, jealousy doesn't have roots. It's not a tree. <laughs> <laughs> not appreciate you making fun of me it is very rude now be quiet while i read my screed <laughs> after madam mayor collected my unlisted number while i was collecting information and records she seemed very concerned with me from the moment of contact vice mayor even yelled at me recorded a clear indication that i was on the right track Deanna told me not to cover the story in my only conversation with her, etc. Seems a lot of viral journalists are ringing the cash register <laughs> to destroy an innocent, disabled mother and the career of the judge that got it right. Bullshit. Don't they want both sides of the story like I do? This is not about the violation of civil rights. This is a stalking case, and Michelle deserves protection from the scary individual setting out to destroy her life. I have anxiety over the roof. And the lives of other innocent people in this path. You are not a nice person. Do you think DUI is as concerned about the judge in Ohio doing everything in the dark? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what any of this means. I'm so lost. Uh, she's like, I get the uh, the Ohio thing. She's like, why aren't you talking the shit about the guy in Ohio? Why are you just talking about? Oh, because he made the right choice. Maybe? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Because we we've seen the buffoonery that's happening in that courtroom. I mean, again, you saw phone use. That that alone. That alone, and then that fucking uh, that stuff with the tablet yelling out the wind. I mean, my god, there's a million things that that judge should be speaking up about. Mm. I don't even understand what any of this means. I'm just gonna have to skip it because it wasn't even very funny. Like, I got let down by that one, the other one was much funnier. Can you try joke a list to make your posts funnier, like that American <laughs> yeah, one? Because right. that was <laughs> they're not informative, so at least they should be funny. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh Lord, this is just more ranting. Everything in the dark and demanding the case not be published. Has that lawyer copied all documents in the case to Michelle as she is pro se in the case and he must legally do so? Because she is in fear afraid. In fear afraid. <laughs> in fear afraid. Oh, and she is in fear afraid to call him to ask for the file she is entitled to otherwise not having would be a railroad of injustice icon of a train a lot can happen in the dark let's get a little sunshine on the train. a railroad of injustice <laughs> <laughs> oh my god with a, an icon of a train i wish oh, i had train geez. sounds i have no train sounds <laughs> Do not run a train on this railroad. You're like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> it has a railroad of injustice. Is that a saying? I'm not aware that that's actually a <laughs> saying. She yeah. has these weird sayings that are not sayings, like like the the sound of justice. Was it the sound of justice? <laughs> the sound of justice makes oh, no apologies. Yeah. Like I don't know what any of this means. Okay. Oh Lord. Okay. Here we go. There's more. All right, prepare yourselves, people. There are icons. There are emojis. Wow, he is collecting daily cash. <laughs> cash bag emoji in his viral videos, slandering and harassing Michelle obsessively and now collecting cash. Cash, I tell you, for his lawsuit to destroy the life of a disabled poor neighbor because the judge sees through his blah, blah, and is protecting her and her child from potential harm. Not to mention the quick 500 cash emoji from DUI, duh, while he collects his own cash, <laughs> slandering Michelle. Does he know about the docs and the superfan discussing physical violence against Michelle and the public officials 
to the hate indicted in the show the judge is protecting her from? No worries. I will be publishing it. And does he know about J.H. telling his fans to call me as he doxes me and telling his fans the town hall asked him to take care of the problem after Ma Madam Mayor? I have breaking news, breaking news. I will be publishing. I will be publishing this. You heard it here first. I will be publishing this. I will be publishing it. <laughs> She's like, I don't work for PJ Media, but I work in my PJs. You're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 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 i don't know what this one's about i'll have to move on uh <laughs> advocacy journalism with a daring heart yes with a daring heart she has some strange phraseology i don't Is know that how a video it's not one that it's i a youtube short on. it's a youtube short man it's a uh, oh maybe it's on youtube it. Okay, yeah. hold on. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Where's my button? All right. What, read to me the title of this thing again. Advocacy journalism with a daring heart. We're just, this is how we roll, folks. This is how we roll. We're just yeah. going, going down whatever, wherever life takes us in the moment. This is how investigations work. Okay, so her channel comes up. But she only has two things on it. I think she has deleted a bunch of stuff. Do we dare play one oh. of these songs? I was going to get there. She's going to oh. copyright me for sure. So, folks, keep the super chats coming because, you know, the the the, the copyright's coming. Uh, but for the YouTube handlers out there, this is purely in the interest of investigation <laughs> and commentary and education. We are not trying to steal anybody's copyrighted works. I will not play more than a few seconds at a time. And we will make sure we link these people to this channel so they can go subscribe and enjoy all this music for themselves. You can take a hot bath, folks. And while you're in the bubbly with a glass of wine, you can tune in to the dulcet towns of diamonds and water. You are something to see. Precious as Christmas Eve. What? <laughs> Wait. This is not what I was promised. I was <laughs> promised a billboard award winning music. Well, is... she's like, it is a billboard. That poster. It does look like a billboard. <laughs> kind of. I like the feather earrings, though. I have always been a fan of that 1970s feather, the feathers in the hair or ears or whatever the hell is happening here. I've, I've always been a fan of those. Uh, it's not a bad picture, but the music is less than ideal. <laughs> less than I <laughs> have so much more than words to bring to you. I don't know what to say to this. I don't, oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I appreciate, I appreciate people who like to sing and who do it and like dedicate their lives to it even if it's not that great like i still appreciate the effort i do I sing in the I... shower i sing in the shower <laughs> and i make up stuff you know for my kids goofing off but you notice like i can't hold the tune so i use ai <laughs> can't hint <laughs> what about blue, blue they can't all be this bad how about blue bird on a mountain this one looks what the interesting fuck is she holding there a bird clearly oh i thought oh, it was a so severed hot dog or something <laughs> <laughs> it, weird. it is a photoshopped bird in the hand which is better than two. Oh, oh i see the top of it now it was you know from a distance i was like what the no what <laughs> <laughs> chat if you want it to stop, send more super chats. You are the one for me, someone I've waited a lifetime. I like this one better than the other one. This one is not not as upsetting. The other one was depressing me way too way too fast. <laughs> Doug has been Doug's been he's been he's been bored into silence. Are you? <laughs> I'm like what in the up. what? I'm still. Wait. Up. No, I'm still mesmerized by the, the half bird. <laughs> what, is it a ghost bird? I'm, I'm confused. I don't know, but there's got to be a chorus to this thing. Oh, oh my ears. Jeez. I think I need to turn oh, my this. <laughs> Wait, maybe I should sing along. I'm just wondering, can I catch... <laughs> oh, my 
not auditory and feeds. Birds on the mountain and bluebirds. You are my treasure. You are my treasure. I would play down all my chairs. Yes, honey, sing it. My chairs. For you. For you. You are my my bluebird pancake. You are my sunshine in the dark. <laughs> I'll run a railroad of justice on this man. <laughs> on the railroad of justice, silence is king and the strong man. We don't want him to win. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, you need to you need to get the lyrics and you need to cover this song. <laughs> he is collecting daily cash in his viral <laughs> videos, slandering and harassing Michelle obsessively, and now collecting cash for his lawsuit to destroy the life of a disabled poor neighbor because a judge <laughs> sees through his blah, 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 and is protecting her and her child from potential harm. Not to mention the quick 500 from DUI <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's better. I it does. It's, better. <laughs> it's a lot more entertaining for sure. <laughs> Who's clipping this? No, Weasel, gosh. don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. Thank God I used the other voice and not my own. No one will be able to attach it to me. You don't even know if this is really me behind here. Could be an AI model that I programmed to do this show. Might not be me at all. Just saying. Don't let out all the secrets, damn it. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I like this one. Lots of YouTubers are drinking the Kool-Aid in La La Land for now. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That's a, man, I gotta write that down. That's a good line for my next song. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write that one down for sure. I'm taking a screenshot. So I remember that one. Oh, that's funny. So funny. It's so funny. Oh this is God. so funny. I cannot. Lots of YouTubers are drinking the Kool Aid for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where is it? Oh, she did spell Kool Aid wrong. Kool Aid is spelled with a K. Oh, oh, this is good. Oh, this is stacks of crimes. We have stacks of crimes. Stacks of crimes. Hear me. You better write that down. Stacks of crimes. That is musical right there. We yeah, have yeah. stacks of crimes. Where is Jeremy? <laughs> Jeremy, call the sheriff. I love Thomas. We have stacks of crimes. Where is Jeremy? Jeremy, call the sheriff. Uh, this is these are musical lyrics that no one could make up. They're so good. Crimes are like Legos. That's amazing. They stack. They I never stack. Knew that. They stack. Stacks. Stacks of crimes. We have stacks of crimes. Otter Creek and the Golden Key Side B. Why is Vice Mayor skipping monthly town hall meetings after Mayor skips town? One minute transform clip for a public concern. Fair use. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Great job living the country life with Thomas Collins on YouTube. Thomas is a smart, kind man. He is doing an amazing job documenting very necessary video footage in Otter Creek. Hold on to your First Amendment right, Thomas. It's yours, and thank you. Flag emoji. Everybody visit. 
Mary Thomas is fantastic, Paige. She does great things for the people in the town that he loves. Otter Creek, America. Mm, Thomas. Mm, thank you. Who is Thomas? I don't know. Thank you for I your don't... service, Thomas. Thank you for your service, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, we want to thank you for your service. Oh, and then, like, I, I don't knew. know. I never what? knew Otter Otter Creek was a branch of the services, but now I know. <laughs> well, apparently living there is like living through a war. <laughs> it sounds like it some days. You should get a purple heart just for making it a full year without having your house burned down or having someone's turtle give you salmonella in Otter Creek, frankly. <laughs> oh. Freedom Public. Oh, this is hilarious. Freedom Public Press Live. why there was an interlocal agreement with the county for fire coverage. This is a brush truck, not a fire truck. Did this volunteer have all the required training, which can cost thousands, for joining the already closed, non-existent Otter Creek Volunteer Fire Department? Oh, oh, and this brush truck was traded to Chiefland for two years of fire coverage since Otter Creek did not have any fire department to cover them. The interlocal agreement was being canceled. Why is this part crossed out? What What is happening here? Mayor Granger, this is crossed out. Mayor Granger shut down the voluntary fire department and then not crossed out, including refusing new volunteers and then sold, crossed out, this beautiful crossed out fire truck. What? <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, someone is back checking her post. Is that what that is? Oh, Lord. I guess it's a brush truck. <laughs> no, it says right on it, brush eighty one. Yeah, brush eighty one. Uh, you know. Did I see the raid earlier? Oh, the expert raid. I did, and I wrote it down, and I didn't say welcome. Welcome, all of you expert raiders. Welcome uh, from the experts channel. I think I have a sound effect for you. Hold on, hold please. I do. I added it to the soundboard just the other night, just for the expert. I don't know if he's still here, uh, but if he is, welcome all of you expert raiders. <laughs> Smooth as a dolphin. Thanks for joining. <laughs> all right. I, I can't, but there's so much more here. Uh, no, I don't care about that. No. Oh, Lord. I don't know who this is from. I don't know if she wrote this or if other people wrote this. I have no idea. But you know what's funnier than this? Like, this could go on all day. This is just one of the Facebook pages dedicated to mocking this, this person. So there's another one called Unblessed. Wait, what's it called? Un unblessed. She must use the word blessed all the time. She's one of those people. Blessed. Uh that's a new one, the Twatopotamus. I don't understand. <laughs> UN blessed big liars, frauds, and fakes. 632 likes. Wow. Uh, our page is dedicated to exposing frauds, liars, and fakes, big and small. We will expose them all. I, I like they I got don't... a fist of justice. They're giving you the fist. <laughs> frauds beg for money. Do not donate. Well, sometimes I beg for money, but that's just because it's, it's, ba it's a bad economy. Yeah, and I like groceries the money. are super expensive. Yeah, yeah. Every time I take my kids <laughs> to the grocery store, I'm like, holy God. Yeah, I have a heart attack every time I see the bill at the grocery store. It's like, what? No. You are fake news. This can't be real. <laughs> this can't be real. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting. So, so the joke list does send freedom of information requests uh, to certain public bodies. That's something that, yeah, a journalist would do, but it's also something that any member of the public can do. You know, you don't have to be a journalist to send a FOIA request. Let's, should we read one of her FOIA requests and see if it stands up to my yes. scrutiny? <laughs> yes. All right. Mayor Therese Granger, Vice Mayor Zim Pad J, Town of Otter Creek. I have made a record request, both by phone and by email, beginning August 2023, with no response letter from your office. I sent Two follow-up emails, the last dated September 3rd, with zero response from your administration. I am writing another follow-up email 
and this public record request will be published. I'm asking for the following records and information. Number one, I'm requesting the electronic file of the 6,000 emails you sent to Jeremy Hales during his very public lawsuit against Otter Creek Town Hall. I am not requesting paper copies or time from your office. The file is already made and available and I'm requesting an electronic file per the Florida Public Records Statute, FS 119.07, Chapter 119. You cannot charge me a fee per copy. I'm not requesting paper copies. I'm requesting the existing electronic file already produced. Okay, there's a problem here. The first problem is it's not bad. It's not bad. But she has left out some magic words that you always have to put in when you're requesting public records. And those magic words are, this is a Freedom of Information Act request. Uh, for non-commercial purposes by a member of the media or a member of the public to be returned electronically within your specified statute time. So she kind of made a mistake by not using the magic words. That could be why they haven't responded to her. Um, Cause they do not have to respond to FOIA requests that are for commercial purposes. Uh, so, and it wasn't specified. They should have responded to her though, and said if there was a problem with her response, they should have said, can you resubmit this this way? Now, asking for 6,000 emails is quite time consuming. Yeah. So they cannot charge her for copies since she's asking for electronic copies, but they could charge her for an hourly rate for how long it takes them to get that together. And then it would be legitimate for them for a, a, a low rate. I don't believe that public bodies ought to charge people a lot of money for public records. So reasonable, you know, I think a $25 fee would be reasonable because I bet it would take somebody about an hour, $25 an hour is about right. Okay. It also says I am requesting the audio files from the minute recorder for town hall meetings beginning March 23rd to August 23rd. That shouldn't be too hard to give her. They should have those immediately. They should just be on a file drive and six handwritten minutes to those six months. Those also should be readily available. They should already be posted online. I am requesting only electronic copies. That should be no problem. They should have that. Number three, pre please provide all voting by email emails during your administration. That could get overly broad. That needs to be narrowed. If I'm the respondent, I'm going, how, which ones? Like the one, every voting by email email that went out to every single resident? That's too much. For the following are three questions. One, how many hard drives did your administration remove from your computers? And where are those hard drives currently stored? Okay, they don't have to answer questions. So the joke list doesn't understand that when you send a FOIA Freedom of Information Act request, you can only ask for documents. You can't ask them questions. They have no obligation to respond to you, none. So all you can, now that's for a press inquiry. She is confusing a press inquiry with a public records request. So if you wanted them to answer questions, you need to send a separate or at least make it obvious that, hey, this part of my email is now a press inquiry, please respond. But they still don't have to. They can say no comment or they can just not respond. Number two is why did you suddenly remove the town hall meeting minute recorder and your new microphone system your administration installed? Yeah, they don't have to tell her that. She could have asked for a documentation about that. Like she could have asked for any emails that discuss the removal of the new microphone system that the administration installed. That's yeah. a document. Yeah, discuss or pertain to, you know, that way you can hit them both. It can be uh it can be right on the nose and maybe somebody will actually give you something broader as well. I always like if I'm in a fight with a public body, mm -hmm. I like to fight with them for a couple of weeks and then I hit them with a FOIA request for all emails containing my name. And That's it is funny. hilarious. <laughs> it's always hilarious because they never see it coming and they do not watch themselves. And I will also ask them for voicemails because voicemails are foiable. And huh. they hate having, so what they'll do is to avoid FOIAs, they'll start leaving each other voicemails. <laughs> and then they realize that all of that is foiable too. So good. <laughs> So good. My book, uh, Shut Up, The Bizarre War That One Public Library Waged Against the First Amendment is full of hilarious tales just like that. 
about a public body who thought they were going to outsmart me and my my co-author Kevin Dujan and they couldn't and it was so funny and all they did was just make themselves angrier and angrier you can get it on <laughs> Amazon it's very funny um so this is not in all the different types of public records requests I've seen this is not the worst one but she is expecting too much from them uh, and you always want to, here's a tip. You always want to ask for the least amount of items you can ask for at one time. You want to, you can always send another FOIA request, but you want to narrowly tailor the one to what you're specifically looking for because they'll get it back to you faster. So if you have like all these different items, it's just going to take longer. And they should, Florida, I think their statute is a reasonable time, which means nothing. So they can literally take as long as they want. It's not written in the statute how long they have. Now look at her, how she ends it here. This is funny. I got to go back to the voice for this one. It has been months since I began my public record request with zero response from your administration. You have refused to acknowledge my request and you are not following the state of Florida Sunshine law. Your administration is not exempt from following the public records law. Also, the Sunshine Law regarding open government can be found in Chapter 286 of the Florida Statutes establishing a basic right of access. In 1991, the Attorney General drafted a definitive constitutional amendment which guarantees continued openness passing the amendment in 1992. Your administration is not following the law by withholding public records from the public while supplying those records only to Jeremy Hales, which have been seen in his viral videos on the internet via the Googles. <laughs> the Googles, those damn Googles. <laughs> those Googles. Oh, Lord. I don't know. I don't know what the underlying story is here. Or if, like, if Jeremy does have these emails, if he does, he probably, they were his, right? She's asking for his emails. Well, he owns those emails, right. ma'am. They're on his computer. Why would he need to get it from the town yeah. hall? Yeah, you were mailing him. How dare you supply him with those emails? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh, God. I want to know the story of why why is she talking about removal of hard drives? Yeah, I don't I don't know. Look, we have more fence pictures. Right side of fence. This is like playing Twister. Right side, left hand, red circle. Right side fence ends at red arrow. Okay, I see that. Left side fence ends at red arrow. Okay, what are we trying to prove here? <laughs> what are we doing? I don't understand. Oh, God. You know, there's so much going on here. Oh, this was from a while ago. So I guess that, that the Jokalist and Lynette had a falling out a couple of times. And they kind of like they posted about each other. But I think they've made up. I think they've made up. Um, it says, I'm no longer working with her. And this was Lynette's post. We don't need a story done. We need help getting this town back to being a quiet, calm town and getting the people who live here involved without being on, without fear of being on YouTube. On the YouTube. On the YouTubes. Why is the you? Why are they so afraid of the YouTubes via the internet? It's just YouTube. <laughs> because more than one hundred and seven people will actually see it. <laughs> okay, so this looks like a Lynette post. Uh, I'm asking a favor. Yep, I'm asking for something. We want as many tortoise or turtle signs as we can get in the hat rack. We want to put them everywhere on our property. The outdoor bathroom, oh, that beautiful outdoor, or outdoor bathroom. The sheds, even the house. I'm just putting it out there. Oh, no, that's her address. We don't want to do that. Well, no, did, stop doxing people. Did they actually call for stuff for the, uh, the, the outdoor bathroom, though? Yes, the outdoor. Oh, that face. That just scared me. I, okay. 
I don't even know what to do with this. I don't know where to go with all of this information. I just don't. Um, Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor wants to join? Where, <laughs> Come on in. Where is she? How do I? Oh, I have her email. I'll send you an invite, Madam I Mayor. Said, uh, yeah, I, I would Ooh, love We want to know this lore. We yep. need to know this lore. We need to know what is going on in Otter Creek, Florida. If you had told me a month ago, Tug, that I would care what was happening in Otter <laughs> Creek, Florida. <laughs> in this, like, the methery is unbelievable. I have driven around this town. I need to, one of the questions I need to ask Madam Mayor is, why the hell do you live in Otter Creek? Did you I say the methery? Yes, the methery <laughs> is out of control in Otter Creek. I don't understand what what is drawing people to this area of Florida? What is it? Is it the tailgating at the town hall meetings? I mean, uh, to be fair, what, that was, to be fair, that people, was fun. That looked fun. I want to know what people do there though. Cause when I look at the town hall meeting, like there are a lot of decent cars there. Where the fuck are these people? Are they driving a long ways to get no, jobs? I, have, I mean, I have no idea. Oh no, I can't find her email. It's buried. It's buried under why don't so you many put your, emails. Why don't you put a banner with your email on the front and be like, hey, Oh, yeah, that's again. a good idea. All right. Madam Mayor, if you are still in the chat or if somebody knows her and can email her, tell her to email me again so it'll sh pop up at the front of my email and I will send her a link and she can join us. Now, I did get an email, though, uh, from someone that said hold on it is a picture of this is interesting i was told this was coming what is this um it's a cease and desist that was written to this person called the jokalist and it was by a hannah jones let me just make sure nobody's going to be doxxed on here uh, Pennsylvania code. Let me see if I can open in a new tab. Here we go. Let's, let's get bigger and big in. <laughs> Server a cease and desist. She's like, joke's on you. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tug. Okay, this is a cease and desist harassment or encouragement of harassment. Dear Jokalist, this letter serves as notice to immediately cease and desist the pattern of harassment directed towards Ms. Jones. The behavior being referenced to began on 3-28-2019 and includes, but is not limited to, the following. The encouragement of harassment and the participation of harassment both online and offline with others persons included are someone named Laurel and Dan, you are violating Ms. Jones' legal rights under Pennsylvania Code 2709, communicating to or about such other person in any lewd, lascivious, threatening or obscene words, language, drawings, or caricatures. <laughs> she making caricatures. <laughs> <laughs> communicating repeatedly in an anonymous manner and false reports. A person who knowingly gives false information to any law enforcement officer with the intent to implicate another. These activities all from all aff aforementioned parties are unwelcome and unwanted. Please send assurance within 10 days after receiving this letter that you will cease the harassment and encouraged harassment of Ms. Jones. Failure to cease aforementioned behavior as described in paragraph two will result in lawsuit with the proper jurisdiction seeking all available monetary damages as well as other le available legal remedies at Ms. Jones' discretion. Well, I don't know the underlying story here, but I will say in my time of being a journalist, I have received a few cease and desist. I've seen, I've received Check your two. email, by the way. Hey, check okay, your I'm email. checking. Somebody said she I've, sent an email. I've received two uh, cease and desist. They were both laughable. One recently happened this week that I didn't tell anyone about yet. Those of you following the Clayton Eckerd, Laura Owens scandal know that recently in the deposition, it came out that Laura Owens had a another victim in 2014 from San Francisco. 
I believed that I had hunted down the person that it was and that I had identified him and I contacted him and someone close to him. And then I heard from his very upset lawyer <laughs> <laughs> who basically just confirmed that I was correct because yep. you don't sick and angry lawyer on someone who is wrong. Do you, you just say, it's not him. You've got the wrong guy. Yep. You don't send a nasty cease and desist. So that will be, I'll have more on that later. All right, Madam Mayor, the link is coming at you. So pop on in here when you get a chance, because we have so many questions. And I would like to start with the tailgating at the town hall <laughs> meetings, because that looks like fun. All right, while we're waiting for that, let's get to some of the super chats. Uh, welcome to the Fox Den, Vulpy Fox. <laughs> Uh, don't get scared. It's just a weird Minecraft fox sound. <laughs> David Washburn, thanks for the super chat, says, watch the saga of the two-inch pipe. Hey, sir. Phrasing. Um, phrasing? Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Susan Scat, thanks for the super chat. Megan, great show earlier today about Pennsylvania CPS, Lehigh County. So gross. Yeah, if you guys want to hear a really important story, please do tune into my live stream from earlier today. I had the controller, the elected controller from Pennsylvania, Lehigh County, Pennsylvania on. He is a freaking hero among men. And I am, uh, he has uncovered unbelievable, an unbelievable scandal against the people of Lehigh Valley. They've all been like 150 families falsely accused of child abuse by a child abuse pediatrician, one pediatrician at Lehigh Valley Medical Center. It is a scandal. Please watch that. It's on my live from today. David Washburn, thanks to the Super Chat, says the key to Town Hall Saga is Jeremy's two-inch pipe. Oh, my Lord. Extra large and extra hard. Phrasing. Um, phrasing. That's what she said. Okay, I'm going to have to look up this two-inch pipe, I guess. Claire Kershaw, you sound like Alvin the Chipmunk. I can't wait to listen back to the singing part. I think that the singing is probably going to be funny. <laughs> Chris Jenner, thanks for the super chat, says Laura Owen's origin story is catch me if you can. It's true. It's true. Uh, Teresa Finn gifted a membership. Thank you so much. That is so generous of you. The chat's Even saying though. Jeremy wants to join too. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't sure, know. Sure, I'll, I'll send him. I'll send him one. <laughs> I, you got to remember like some of the, yeah, like some of the places, you know, like, like if we're on with Saver Kate Law, everybody says, oh, you know, whomever wants to join. <laughs> it's half the time. I know, it's a lie. It's, it's, it's always a lie. It's always oh, yeah, a lie. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, I heard you wanted to join. And they're like, uh, no, we're busy. Yeah. Janice Wingfield, thanks to the Super Chat, says, uh, Shart uses baby talk in her writing, uses tons of emojis, loves using the tilde, always says stay tuned for her stories that don't appear. Well, maybe you don't know what stay tuned means, but stay tuned means that I'm not done yet. And you are supposed to stay tuned for what's coming. And I told you it was coming. I don't know why you don't believe me. Oh, it's Madam Mayor. Welcome to the program, Madam Mayor. How are you? Can you hear me okay? Hey. Hi. Hey. So I am good. We had some questions about now I can. Oh, cool. You can hear now. Keep the volume. Now I can. Oh, cool. You can hear. Is it delay? Yes. Is there a yeah. delay? There's, there's something else playing. There's a wait. Outside, hold so. on. Hold on, Madam Mayor. There's something else playing. So if you, whatever device you're on, just make sure you're not sitting next to one that's playing it and turn your volume down a little bit because we're hearing a, a delay feedback. Yeah. YouTube has about a 10 second delay. That's what okay. it is. So if you're listening to it on, YouTube on another device, you want to move yeah. it away from the, yeah. Cause it'll pick it up on your screen. Yeah, Do you want to put it on here? Let's I, see. I can't hear it through mine though. Oh, you can't hear it. Oh, that's weird. Take okay. It off your, your tripod. So she can't hear me. All right. I'll tell you what. Yeah. I will send her a note and see if I can figure it out for her. Um, under settings, check audio and turn on mic. Try backing out and coming back in. That usually works. It does. Um, well. I mean, when you're setting up live, I usually take five minutes to set my audio too. So, yeah. you know, because if I join, yeah, I know it's what happens. 
Yeah. Um, Madam Mayor, check your uh, email because I just I kicked you from the studio because you need to come back in. Usually that will solve the problem. All right. Let's see where are we at here. McRae, thanks for the super chat, says having to bribe my contractor with SIGs to just get the job done already. Be like, ugh, three week job on week five. Can't stay. Just wanted to say hi. <laughs> well, at least you know what works. You know, if bribing with cigarettes works, then that's what you do. Terry Smith, thanks for the super chat, says the first comment of hers that you read was directed to me. She copied and pasted from her page, leaving off where I call her out. So I was looking for her website and I guess like it doesn't exist anymore. I don't know if she ever wrote articles, but I'm not finding anything where she actually wrote stuff. Kev C, thanks for the super chat, says fan from Ireland. Well, happy St. Patty's Day, which we just went past. Been following what the hell since Otter Creek scenario. Loving the coverage, especially Megan and Tug. I have fun with Tug. Yep. For sure. Heck yeah. <laughs> Crazy times. Crazy times indeed. <laughs> Claire Kershaw, thanks for the super chat, says, stop, my ribs hurt. <laughs> Anthony Shelley's kitchen. Here's to ringing the cash register. Go T-L-O-L. -L. And Iron Rabbit says, check out your chat. I know sometimes I, I do have to look at the chat, but you know, when we're reading stuff, it's kind of hard. K Rab, thanks to the super chat says, if she doesn't enjoy being made fun of, she shouldn't make herself such an easy target. I know <laughs> we keep bad. saying that we keep saying that. All right, let's see. Madam mayor is back. Let's see if this works now. All How right. are we doing now? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Right. Oh, yay. We can hear you too. Wonderful. All Wonderful. right. So, so we have some questions. One All right. Is, are you guys like, do you guys go and tailgate at the monthly meetings? Is that like a thing? That there's like a party and there's like microphones and uh, electric guitars, blow up toys. Today, yes. People said they were going to. We wanted to have a little fun. What was, is that normally how it is? Or is this just, this was just for today? No, this was special for today. What was supposed to happen today that didn't? There was, there was supposed to be a meeting, but they canceled it. And we didn't know it wasn't, it was canceled until we got there. So but was we brought our mic. Special? Was something special supposed to be happening that everybody was all excited for? And to play music. The monthly meeting was happening. It was supposed to happen. So the Did third guys... Tuesday of every month is their monthly meeting. So is that something the entire town shows up for every month? Well, not the entire town, but they should. But a limited number from the town come, and it's mostly now people from all over attending. Just to watch the show. Yeah. Yes. The circus, as they call it. Well, is there like a too long, didn't read version of why this town has so many, like what's going on? Why is everyone always telling me, I've got to know what happened at the Otter Creek town hall? Because it's such a complete mess that nobody can believe that it's real. They think it's scripted. It, it okay, does sound so like a Springer episode sometimes, <laughs> just to be honest, it's crazy. It's completely nuts. I just, you can't believe it yourself here. Every time something happens, we're like, that really didn't happen, did it? <laughs> yes, it did. Well, a there's a lot of show. things. There's a lot of things about this story that I can't believe. Yeah. And My it just, child keeps... just fell down. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy wants a link. Mm -hmm. Send oh, okay. Jeremy a link. All right. It's coming. It's coming. I okay. Will, uh, I'll send it to him right now. We're using this... his planet. <laughs> okay. I want to know how in the world, like, where did this, what is happening that is so hard? I don't even know. Start at the beginning. Tell me about the two inch pipe or something. I don't know. What do I need to know? <laughs> there is so much and it goes way back, way before we even moved here. This town has been a mess for a long time. But it started with Jeremy when he had a two inch pipe put in and they started charging him for his two inch pipe. Instead of charging for the water usage, they were charging it by the size of his pipe or the meter. <laughs> Is the size of Jeremy's pipe different than other people's pipes? From what I gather, he has the biggest pipe in the town. <laughs> Extra large and extra hard. Um, phrasing. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, oh, so 
so we have what we have is a jealousy of the size of Jeremy's pipe. Is that right? <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't make it up. I can't go forward with this. This is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> This is all kinds of ridiculous. How the hell is it? Okay, you used to be the mayor of this town. Is that correct? That's correct. And did you just quit? Did you throw your papers out a window one day and, and just, just be like, I quit, I give up? Well, um, uh, January 1st, the state of Florida started doing a form six. So all the people on the boards had to fill out. It's a financial form and it's really intrusive. So, I resigned right before then because I don't think you should have to fill that out. You basically had to claim anything that's worth over a thousand dollars in your house, and you're telling the whole world what's in your house. And if you make a mistake, you could be fined twenty grand. So wow. it, that's ridiculous. That's government wow. overreach. So wow. I yeah, said I'm done. I don't blame you there. I wouldn't want to tell everybody what's in my home. Hey, burger, no, and it you. goes out for the whole world. So you're basically saying, hey, you can come rob me. This is what I have. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what I was wondering about Fanny Willis's testimony. She was like, oh, yeah, I got cash all over my house. I get cash. I get cash. I got cash over there. I got cash over there. My dad keeps cash all over the house. We've got a couple of safes. I got, oh, oh I don't know, 10,000, 15,000 in cash laying around the house. All black people have that. Have it's right in the Folgers coffee can. <laughs> I was like, well, if that's true, black neighborhoods are about to be like raided. I don't know. Like, right. are there just going to be a ton of burglaries? Who keeps that much cash in, in the house? That's just nuts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Linz, if you're having trouble hearing me, I think maybe it's on your end. I think my mic is always super loud. I don't think anybody else is having that that trouble. <laughs> Try refreshing um, <laughs> under the couch cushions chat. Okay, so <laughs> Michael L says, pretty sure the problem was it was a rigid pipe. Oh, no. Stop it. <laughs> was it the size of the pipe or the hardness of the pipe? We're, we're not oh. sure. Oh, boy. Well, Legal vices. Uh, uh, both. Jer tell Jeremy I sent it to him. Tell Jeremy he got him, it. Didn't I? Yeah, I sent it to him. He got it in his email. Okay. I was like, oh God, what if I sent it to somebody else on accident? That No, it, it was him. Uh, we could have a rando. Put your ear up to the camera if you can't hear. What? Put your ear directly up to the camera <laughs> and awesome. all your problems will be solved. Hey, legal vices. <laughs> welcome to the chat, Jeff. Um, okay, so we were we were speaking about Jeremy's pipe girth uh, a, a moment ago. It's not the size, but the girth that matters. It's the two inch wide. Is it like a round, two inch around pipe? This is a water pipe. Is that yeah. like a... Okay, so they're charging him by the foot of this thing instead of by the amount of water that he uses. Is that it? Yeah, it makes no sense. And they said they were going to be charging by the size of the meter. And they wrote this ordinance that didn't match up with what they were saying. So when I got into office and I read that, I had to take that out of play because it was totally illegal. Hmm. It made no sense. Jeremy says, I laid a lot of pipe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Were other, are other people in the town charged in this same way as well? How are they charged for their water? They had it broke down to residential or commercial, but in the brackets, they had different meter sizes. The whole thing was screwed up all the way around. So only, I think, three or four people were getting charged the commercial rate for the larger pipe. So, Okay, so three or four people, including Jeremy, were being charged a different rate and a yeah. higher rate than other people. Yeah. So did he, I'm assuming that, so you said, no, this is illegal. You can't do that. Right. The way the whole thing was wrote and the way it was in their billing system, even none of it jived, nothing matched at all. So it was completely illegal. And I was trying to get it rewrote, but 
some of the board members, um, Russell and Don, want to fight you on everything you're doing. And at that time, there was also an attorney named Mr. Warm, who is crooked as well. And he just wanted to do things that weren't right. And they were all going along with it. So when I was trying to get it rewrote, they were throwing in that I needed to get a survey done and all kinds of stuff. The yeah, the, the billing software wasn't even programmed correctly. They were just there wasn't even throwing wrenches in. The whole thing was ridiculous. They don't Rocco, want anything to be done. Rocco wants to know, Mr. Warm? The fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Jokalist mentioned Mr. Warm, and I thought that was a typo. I was like, Warm is not a word. No. What is she saying? So there was a guy with the, with the name Warm. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Warm. I like that. Some people call him Warm. Mr. Worm. <laughs> Mr. Worm. <laughs> so, but he's not I bet the, the joke attorney anymore. Could, the jokeless could write a story or a song what about that. Mr. <laughs> Worm. Mr. Worm. Mr. Worm. <laughs> uh, she may need to work on that one. That one's not as good. <laughs> she needs right. to work on a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell me about her. Did she, now she says she contacted, you know, she sent FOIA requests and she, no one ever got back to her. And were you there when she had sent FOIA requests to the town asking for emails and stuff like that? She had been calling the town hall and harassing everybody that was in there. Just, she would sit there and badger you. You answer her questions and she's just, asking them again and again and she'd start yelling at you and you ended up having to end the call she was a complete harassment to everybody in there and then she was sending the emails which at that time i believe belinda was the clerk and still is i wasn't the clerk and she's addressing me in these emails and telling everybody i'm refusing to talk to her well she's not even sending me emails she's sending them to the clerk I don't provide the public records. The clerk does. Right. She's just off her rocker. Right. Okay. So <laughs> she was calling. Was she calling during public meetings and using public time, like like signing up to make a statement and then using it to ask questions? No, she was just doing it during the town hall business hours. Oh, that's interesting. So if I did that, as I would not do that as a journalist, by the way, I usually don't use the telephone to call. I usually send a press inquiry in writing just because it's easier for everyone. And I have a record of it then. Right. Um, and then I will, if they don't respond in my article, I'll usually just write, no one responded. They had no response, which is a valid and, response, not responding. You can, right. you know, but I would never call someone and like be just shouting questions at them. I don't know where she learned this. She was just, she was off the chain ridiculous. And she was just trying to get everybody to lose it on her. I guess that was her goal. And I just said, this is ridiculous. It's harassment. No one needs to deal with it. And she was told to put her request, request in writing so sure. that she could get exactly what she wanted and stop harassing everybody. Did you, did anybody ever tape any of these encounters with her? No. Oh, that's unfortunately not. <laughs> that's, we have that's no audio. Bad. That's too bad because that would be really. And you funny. may have heard. There's no audio. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I did hear that. It wasn't that one of her questions is what happened to the audio system or something. Yeah, she wanted the audio recordings, which there were none, because when I came into office. The old clerk used to use the audio to do the dictation for the minutes. Right. I wasn't using those and the new clerk wasn't using the audio. So why keep that file if you're not going to use it? That's just another thing you have to keep for public record. So mm -hmm. we quit using it because you're not required to do it. But if you do do it, you have to have it as a public record. So if you're not using it, why do it? So we stopped using it and she's requesting it and it doesn't exist. Now, there's and nothing stopping a member of the public from coming to a meeting and recording it themselves right. and distributing it. Right. right. Yeah, anybody can record it. 
I mean, frankly, I think most public bodies, I think, I think all public bodies should record their public meetings and just put them out there and like live stream them. Yes, and most of the other mm -hmm. towns do. And I was hoping that we could get that into play, but there was such a mess coming in there. It was hard to get everything in order to get the things that should be done. Even the ordinances were not in order. There was, I couldn't believe the mess and I'll have to post some pictures of it at some point where I don't know how they were running because there was boxes everywhere with 10 different subjects from 20 years in different boxes all over the place. So how could you provide public records when you don't even know where they are? So now oh my gosh, order. I finally, someone finally sent it to me and look, we have the mayor here to, to, to respond to it. So we found one, we found an article. Oh, and, oh my God, they find, exist. Yes, it exists. <laughs> Somebody sent it to me. Uh, this is on Freedom Public Press, I guess. Mayor Therese Granger resigns, leaving many an- unanswered questions. All right, so far, so good. So far, oh, so good. We have a joke list. Yes, we have a headline. We have, well, I mean, I just haven't found anything she's written until just now. And that's you're the right, only thing. And you're right here, so you could respond to it. It says, Otter Creek, Mayor Therese Grange, is it Therese or Teresa? Therese. Therese Granger resigns, dropping the gavel at record speed, leaving many unanswered questions and an open six month long public records request unfulfilled. She's really mad about that public records request. During wow. this time, the town was in litigation for a public record lawsuit with the most vocal resident, Jeremy Hales, YouTube star of What the Hales. Who will be next in the new administration to put on their running shoes? Will the new election need to fill a full house of empty seats? Soon after, on January 16th, Vice Mayor Zim Padgett canceled the monthly town hall public meeting for the entire month of January through until the end of February, leaving the small town in turmoil without a mayor. Was the town in turmoil? Were there, no. was there cats and dogs fighting in the streets? Were there, you I know, think was the Joker the running around, burning down buildings, and was it just chaos? Nope. Not okay. any more than usual. Were there turtles? What the hell just fell? Oh, no. <laughs> Were there, there turtles? Turtle. <laughs> turtle. What the hell? Oh, no, that was just my, never mind. It's fine. Everything's fine. The Legos did not get broken. Uh, <laughs> were there turtle, were there turtle purgatories, you know, just popping up everywhere? Just there- one. Just one. Okay. So not turmoil. No, no. How about turtle moil? Were there any turtle moils? <laughs> turtle moils. In fact, it was <laughs> turtle moils. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> All right. So that we found that that's the first inaccuracy here. A municipal board's work is performed in meetings held open to the public for transparency. I think we could all agree with that statement. Yeah. Meetings are subject. <laughs> well, I did. I missed the perfect opportunity to play the button. I did. My child just fell down. <laughs> <laughs> when the big bang happened. I did. Chat, you called me on it. I totally missed oh. it. See, I, I need the chat for the jokes. Oh, that, that would have been, been perfect. Perfect. Damn. All right. Uh, meetings are subject to several state and local procedural requirements involving the political climate of the locality. Ah, those are some big words. Statements from council member Russell Meeks. Wait, wait. Statement from council member Russell Meeks is not a full sentence, dear. <laughs> you need to say Russell Meeks told Freedom Public Press it's not in accordance with the town charter. Charter says the regular monthly town hall meetings must occur no less than one meeting per month. The new mayor to fill the empty seat was to be voted on at the January meeting. Now, this is true. This is usually true that you have to have meetings regularly. And if you have to, you know, reschedule or you're supposed to usually reschedule it, a missed meeting instead of skipping it. That's usually true. But yet Russell did that when the clerk quit and he just shut town hall down just now tonight. No, that happened back in April and May of 2023. Right before I came onto the board. And then it seems to have happened again. Ain't no show. Then it seems to have happened again tonight. Right. 
Tonight, the meeting was canceled, yes. And it wasn't rescheduled. Honestly, They're just gonna... Even if they would have had a meeting tonight, Russell and Don would have just got up and walked out. So now, why would they have done that? Because they don't want the new board members to be seated. They did can that they... last month. Can they do that? <laughs> They did last month, so there was no quorum and they couldn't finish the meeting. Oh, I see. This is like when those representatives in Texas ran across the border so there would be no quorum to 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 do something. I don't remember what it was, but I remember there was a big, big news report about that. And the sheriff had to go and get them and yeah, drag them back to the Capitol. <laughs> Who are the new board members that they're so worried about? Um, a gentleman named Carl and Joseph would be taking the two one-year seats. And then in April, there'll be two new members seated as well because they don't need to have an election because one of the members dropped out after the last meeting. So all the new people could be seated in April. Huh. But he didn't, he didn't want the two people that were qualified for the one-year seats that were running unopposed to be seated. He wanted to put whoever he wanted in for a month or two, which makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Except for the fact that they're not his minions. That doesn't, that's not how democracy works, though. People vote for right. board members. You're, he can't just appoint people. Yep, but he's been doing this all this time. He's been controlling this town, doing whatever he wants. Uh, that's weird. I see that those of you and some of you in the chat are having trouble with super chats. Don't worry, because tips are also accepted on Cash App and Venmo and PayPal, and it's running across <laughs> the bottom of the screen right now. I got you. I got you. Um, <laughs> All right. Legal Vices has a very good question. There's like eight people in town. Why don't they just all go on the council in a rotation format? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I can't right? figure out what in the hell is happening in this town that you even need to meet once a month for. Exactly. They should be unincorporated, in my opinion, and many people's opinion. But some people like to control the water because they can get adult favors for that service. What? Wait, whoa, hold up. What? Yeah. What do you mean That's adult favors? Um, Russell Meeks was getting adult favors for water service. That's what I was always told when I started. <laughs> what? Adult favors. <laughs> adult wow. favors. Wow. I am going to assume that by adult favors, you mean uh, Paps Blue Ribbon six packs. Sure. <laughs> sure. Right to jail. Right away. Oh no. You are not a nice person. Oh golly. Now okay. That this sounds weirder and weirder as we get into odd. this. Odd is the term we use here. Very, very odd. Do we know who was handing out some of these favors? Yes, <laughs> I've heard favors? about them. I've okay. heard them. Different people have narked on them. Tell when me I about was the first... town. Like, what do you do there? We took a Google ride through Google Maps through Otter Creek, and there's like a broken down gas station post office, a yeah. fish bait store. There's like a bait store and a couple of burned out buildings, a water reclamation place that has like barbed wire on the top. There's a wood making shop, which I'm <laughs> yeah. very in interested in. <laughs> A um, wood making shop again. There's a wood making <laughs> shop. They make trees. <laughs> there is a wood making shop, and that's about it. Like, so what do you people do there for for fun when you are not tailgating the town hall meetings? <laughs> well, you don't really have much fun here. You would go to Cedar Key or one of the surrounding towns to have any fun because there's really nothing to do in Otter Creek. You can't even walk through the town because of all the dogs running loose. What, so. wait, I'm sorry, wait, hold on. Now there are dogs running loose? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Don, what? the board member, his dog runs loose and a couple other people's dogs run loose so you can't just walk around. What we need to get back on the Google map and see if we get attacked, you know? 
Wait, <laughs> are there also gay frogs? I don't like them putting chemicals in the water. They're they probably in. The frog. okay. <laughs> <laughs> could be gay turtles. I don't know. Gay turtles. That's gay reptiles. Mean. Gay turtles. Yeah. All right, Locals is working on the memes. So we have to, Locals is feeling like I'm ignoring them and they don't like it when I ignore them. They get very upset. They have been don't working on locals. the Railroad of Justice memes. <laughs> oh no. Is, oh, we have. This is a Railroad of Justice, but it looks like the train's about to run over those poor men. I don't know what they've done to piss you off, Locals, but that one scared me. How about this one? This is the railroad of justice. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. This one has like a Mr. Smith goes to Washington vibe. It does. Uh, I like that one. Let's see what else. We have some more AI railroad of this one's funny. This one's hilarious. I don't <laughs> know what we're doing here, but it's the railroad of justice. Uh, let's see if I can get. On the railroad of justice, there's a bunch of angry men. That one's going to be a billboard hit, I tell you. It's going to be a winner. Um, by the way, the Chocolist does tell people that she won. Oh, I found her lunch. awards. Yeah, I, I, so I found them. Well, she posted them on her website. You're talking about the yeah. ones on the website? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Honorable she did. mentions. Oh, but the strange oh, part. But, oh, it's Bug. Yeah, I had a... <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, I'm having my. She's like, give me a lollipop. If it's well, who doesn't want that? Um, maybe I get another one. Okay, go get another one. Right. This one kind of looks like to Thomasus if he had hair. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting closer. We're getting closer, chat. We're getting closer. How about this one? This one's hilarious. Is that Moses as a judge with Thor's <laughs> hammer? It looks like. And it says, Trey Justice on the side. <laughs> How come the Railroad of Justice is run entirely by white men? I think your AI is just a little racist. Don't forget, diversity is our strength. Uh, locals, you're so funny. All right, let's see. One of you sent me a tip, too. What does it say? I'm trying to get to it. Don't get railroaded. Oh, don't get railroaded. Um... <laughs> Yeah, AI has a lot of work to do. Uh, AI has problems with legs and knees. Look at this. We've got knees over here. <laughs> and knees. Uh. Oh, wow. Oh, no, um, no. Those are his legs and his two inch pipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, those of you who know my very good friend Mo in the Deep End. Please send lots of prayers her way and love her way. She'll be live tomorrow at nine, but she has unfortunately tragically lost little Fry. Fry is her little doggy, her puppy that she does news, news with Mo and Fry. And they had a really horrible tragedy today. And Fry is no longer with us. Mm -hmm. And he is very young. I don't even think he's a year old or he was a year old. And he had a terrible accident. And it's just a very sad thing. I plan on, and I wanted to encourage my chat tomorrow at 9 a.m. to go visit Mo in the Deep End and shower her with some super chats and love while she's going through this very horrible time. You know, she has six children who are in love with that little dog. And uh, why tell it? Because it happened and because she deserves your support and love because this is a very bad thing that happened to somebody. F's in the chat for Fry is right. We, we're all going to miss Fry. Fry was uh, an amazing little dog. And in addition to her stream, and he would, you know, do the news with her and be on his hilarious little puppy cam. And yeah, he got into something and got very, very sick and they were not able to save him. And oh. Yeah, so she's really sad. So please go over. Please, let's push her over 3,000. I'm not sure if she got over 3,000. And if she didn't, let's get her over 4,000. I'm going to find Mo in the deep end for you and put it in the chat. She's going to be live tomorrow at 9 doing her morning news. And it will be without Fry, which is so sad. And I just, I really love Mo. If you have not subscribed or seen Mo, she's so funny. And this just did not, she did not deserve to have this happen. And she did post a video about Fry if you want to uh, watch and see what she said happened there. And it's just really sad. Um, but I do want you guys to go over there and give her some love. 
All right. Um, losing a dog is so hard, especially for little kids. And especially when you're, you don't even see it coming. It's hard enough to lose an old dog, but man, to lose a new dog is something else. All right. Did Jeremy not get my link? I did send it to him. Is he um, coming? He's oh, he's editing now. Oh, he's editing. Okay. So he changed his mind. In other words, I guess so. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't be such a tease with your two inch pipe. That yeah, everyone see, was waiting to hear about. Such That's a tease. Driveway. He has a long driveway too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So Madam Mayor's Adventures. So you have a you have a YouTube page, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we just started a little over a month ago. Well, I noticed that you had 9,000 people on your live chat, but you're only at like 2,500 subscribers. Uh, 25,000. 25,000. Oh, sorry. It was yeah. 25,000. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's real good. Yeah. For a month. Yeah. That's I really it was, good. I thought well, it was expecting more. Yeah. Well, she could always use more is right. So I'll yeah. drop that in the chat for you as well so that you can see where she is. All right. So tell us, Therese, what else do we need to know about Oh, why don't you tell us, did the Jokeless uh, uh, FOIA request ever get fulfilled? And if not, why? The last I had heard was Belinda was giving her prices of what she would need to send to get what she wanted, and she never sent the money. So, oh, no, what happened? Oh, there uh -oh. we go. And she never yeah. sent the money. Okay, so, well, that's a problem. If you don't send the money, when you know, you're asked to, to pay for a FOIA, then you don't get FOIA. Yeah. So that was the last I had heard since I've been gone. I don't know what has happened there, but while I was there, she wasn't sending the money for what she was requesting. So, and if I'm correct, do you all usually for electronic documents, just charge a, like an hourly fee for the time it takes? That's what she was putting into play because before this, the previous administration didn't give any public records. You could ask until you were blue in the face and you couldn't get anything, which is why Jeremy had to file a lawsuit. I myself had hired a lawyer about a year previously because I was trying to get the town ordinances and couldn't, but they wanted so much money. I paid, I think, $1,500 and not much got accomplished there. So Jeremy actually had to get a lawyer to get the public records. Wow. So, so this person who's complaining that her FOIA request wasn't fulfilled, just didn't pay for it. While meanwhile, right. the administration before yours wasn't giving out any FOIAs at all to anyone. Nope. Nothing. I actually got some of the town ordinances because Jeremy had gotten them from one of the board members. And then Jeremy took it to the print shop and had it put on a flash drive. So he had given me a copy of that, but it wasn't the ordinances in their entirety mm. because the park would not give us anything. Oh my goodness. So again, she missed the real story. She's missed the yeah. actual story here. We have this story about how she couldn't get her thing, which she just refused to pay for. Look guys, I've had to, raise money before to pay for a FOIA request that cost me $2,000. Wow. $2,000. Uh, is what I paid uh, for. And all they did was send me copies of my own email. So, so I got the, ripped off. The, the debt yeah, is the remember all those documents you got. about sweet Mary, but sweet Mary, who was the clerk before wasn't doing her job. Yeah. She said something about Mary being afraid to come into work. That's ridiculousness. She's, they were just making up so many things, painting this horrible picture of Jeremy. It's just ridiculousness. He was nothing but patient with these people for well over a year. I couldn't believe how patient he was. It's insane. All right. So copy Chris says, Jeremy paid around 5,000, I believe, for the 6,000 emails. Wow, that's a lot of money. That, if yeah. that's true, that's a lot of money. That's way yeah, too much. Lawyer right. fees. That's, that's, that's oh, about lawyer right. Fees. Remember all those documents from uh, 
the dip her trial. They they cost like five to eight thousand dollars. So yeah, like, yeah, we had to that people had to crowdfund for that. I mean, I've done a lot of crowdfunding for FOIAs before yeah. because look, I don't agree with it, and I don't think the government should be able to 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 charge you that much money. Um, but they do. And so while it's the law, you, you have to do it. You have to pay it. Oh, look who it is. Look who decided to come in oh. here and join us. <laughs> Got me for like 12 what? minutes. Oh, oh well. Wait, hold a second. Well. I messed up. 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes. Why is everybody texting me? Get on live with, uh, with Megan. We're in your world. We're in your world. <laughs> Why? Well, it, it's Why? because it's because oh, look at this. It's not unusual to be in the planet. There we go. The planet. Did I just crash the party? <laughs> no, We're certainly not. But I have to say good night to my little one. He just came in here to say good night. So good night, Hangry. I love you. Good night. Have a good night. Sleep tight. And close my door. Close my door on the way out, please. Thank you. <laughs> Um, all right. So Jeremy, you got yes, to tell us this two inch pipe story. I mean, I don't usually ask men about their pipe situation, but everybody tells me that this is where it started. What, George isn't over there with Madam Mayor to, to tell. She's left me all alone on the planet. <laughs> all right. Well, I, and here I thought you ran. I thought you were you were running so hard to get out of Otter Creek, Madam Mayor. <laughs> here i am uh, basically in a nutshell george and i uh when we moved to otter creek there was well water on the 70 acres now we've we've purchased more um plots since then such as the schoolhouse where madam mayor is but uh well water well water was very very iron saturated and um in that portion of florida the water is not clean at all and uh george has some multiple uh many medical issues and the skin or the water that we were getting from the well was just not good at all for some of the things that she was going through so found out that otter creek actually had its own water and we could tie into the town system which was come to find out one of the worst things ever so uh i put in a two inch meter along with a two inch pipe the infamous two inch pipe that goes <laughs> Tons. I mean, we're way, way back in the woods. And so your standard size pipe for a residential house loses pressure the further it goes. So to maintain pressure, you had to have that bigger girthy pipe. So that it's all about pipe. the girth. It's all about it the was, girth. It was the girth and the length that got all of the water with pressure and with a high level of pressure, not this weak sauce, but high level <laughs> pressure all the way back into the woods. And um, then Next they school. started stealing from me. Yeah. I mean, that's what it comes down to. I put and, and so basically what the Madam Mayor is telling us is that you were very patient with them for over a year. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it was, it was, I was too patient. If I would do it all over again, I'd. I'd stop being so patient. As a matter of fact, I'm at a point in Florida that I have no patience for it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can see that. I just thought it was funny how today the uh, the town hall meeting was like, it was like a, like a concert parking lot. We were, there was some tailgating going on. There were blow up it. toys. <laughs> and I'm glasses. sure Madam Mayor was at the center of it all. Oh, she was. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That. She was there doing her reporting. She was actually doing the job of a reporter. We got to, we needed to know what was going on. She had a camera. She had a microphone. She read us the notice. She told us what was happening. Wait, it was wait, very wait. good on the ground reporting. Hold a second. Are you saying she had evidence and she reported on that evidence? Like she real did. evidence? She did. Like a document. <laughs> and, and wow. Well, we found a document, Jeremy. We found oh, one. Okay. That the okay. Jokalist wrote, we were going over it and and having them since it's about Mayor, uh, Madam Mayor, I was letting her respond to it live. Uh, where were we? Let's see. At the midpoint of a public records request negotiation, and wait, the wait, 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 you lost me already. You don't negotiate <laughs> public records. You pay for them. When you pay for them, you get them. That's how right. public records work. Well, I will and say that I have negotiated before a public records request. I have. I have 
but but the way you do that is you narrow your request so you don't have to pay for as many items right so what she was trying to do was basically say no i still want all of my things but i don't want to pay for what you're asking me to pay that doesn't usually work out now if she had said okay i'll take three thousand emails instead of the six thousand or narrowed her requests then it would be less money probably this is right? starting to sound like Lynette. Yes, exactly. Is this a, is this a sister from another <laughs> mister? It's very strange. It is strange. So she thinks she's negotiating a public records request. And the current administration's ongoing talk about a state criminal investigation, Mayor Therese Granger resigned after serving only six months and change on her new term. The mayor was elected last year with no prior council experience. Well, one does not need council experience to be on a council of a small town or any town for that matter. After she was sworn in on June 5th, 2023, all town hall businesses had been left in the hands of Vice Mayor Zim Paget, Clerk Belinda Standridge, and two remaining council members, former Mayor Russell Meeks and Don Severino. On the there there is a lot of talk in good spirits amongst residents as they look forward to a new mayor. Some have suggested Russell Meeks may be the elected official to fill that seat. Ah! Russell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She oh. keeps on not quoting him properly. She just writes Russell Meeks colon. I care about this town very much. That's not how I, that's not how you quote someone. You have to say Russell Meeks said, I care about this town very much. Mr. Meeks has been a devoted, long-standing mayor over creep. decades. But wasn't devoted, he the guy? Long-standing creep. Wasn't he the guy who never filled anybody's FOIA requests? Correct. He's a guy that's done a lot of things that he that's done a lot of things that he should have never done, and never did things that he should have done. He's a creep. <laughs> June 5th, 2023, on day one, Mayor Granger got down to business in the office with the help of some friends, according to residents. How long is this thing? I'm just now seeing the thing on the side. Oh, dear God. It just keeps going. <laughs> That's, it's oh, a, well, she's a website. Oh. I, I feel like she's trying to make this as long as my pipe. Look at this. <laughs> no, Look at this. Driveway. <laughs> Look at this. This just keeps going and going and going. Yep. All right, listen. Can you imagine listen. what the sign at her house looks like. Oh, this is this is terrible. Look, okay, here's another tip for you. Brevity is the soul of wit. People have a very short attention span. The average news article has to be 500 words between or less. Or less. 800 is really pushing it. 1100 that's in my territory, but I have a very dedicated group of followers who will read 1100 words from me. You are never going to get me to read this. It is too long. You still haven't gotten to the point. What is the point? Where is the, where's the thesis of this work of art? What, what is this about? Well, it's Megan's story. Her infatuation with us. Oh my goodness. So far, it just seems She's like psychotic. She's like, I'm going to have to end up getting a civil protection order against her as well. She is obsessed, obsessed. Absolutely. This is so strange. I mean, it, it's it, there's no point to this. It's basically like this person was the mayor. She's not the mayor anymore. This person used to be the mayor and he wants to be the mayor again. And I'm complaining about a FOIA request that I didn't get. Like, what is the point of this article? You're supposed to put it at the very top. Let me tell, let me show you where it should be. Let me show you right here in right here. In bold. This, it should be right here. Your thesis. You have two sentences to tell me what this is about. Two sentences. That's oh. it. Well, apparently oh, what it's all about is the last sentence there. Jeremy Hale's YouTube star. I didn't even know I was a star. Well, Look the weird this. part is she doesn't mention you again for quite a while. I'm like, I haven't heard about you at all. So if that was the point of this article, she failed there too. Because she just keeps on talking about Mayor Therese Granger and how she had a short stint. Who cares? She was there. Hey, she go back, go back up anything. to the title. Go back up to the title. Like, Adam okay, Mayor, what? she's talking about you, you, your short you notice, stint. Uh, she's talking about like, go right above it. Go right above, <laughs> it. Go right above the oh, title. Oh, above the title. My, my journal. journal. That's not what? a journal. 
<laughs> the hell? <laughs> I mean, love oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought this was her web. Yeah, no, this is a major publication. It's called My Journal. <laughs> I thought this was her publication, but this is her this diary is, that she writes in before she goes to bed at night. Now it makes all the yeah. sense in the yeah, world. It's like, well, it's like Dear Diary, that. Jeremy Hale. Dear Diary, Jeremy Hale. <laughs> Dear Diary, Dear Therese Diary. Granger haunts my nightmares. And Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy graces my dreams with this two-inch pipe. With this two-inch pipe. <laughs> this is so bizarre. It's so strange. I cannot figure out what this is about or what it's supposed to be about. Computer hard drive lists. I mean, I just don't care anymore. I got to tell you, to the person who wrote this, you have lost me. I am not interested in this anymore. I am completely bored and I'm now going to shut it off because I don't care. You've made me not care. I couldn't care any less about whatever it is you're writing here. Wow. <laughs> you don't care so much that I don't, I, I think I don't care even more. And so <laughs> I, I got to get out of here. So all I right. appreciate, I, so with all seriousness, I appreciate the invite. I have a tremendous amount of editing for YouTube for tomorrow because I have to get up early catch a flight and all of that. So I apologize. I totally get it. I totally get it. I got to get it done and try and get some sleep or it all, it all falls apart. It all. Falls I know apart. how it is. Well, thank you for dropping by Jeremy. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so thank much you. for yeah. the invite. All right. See ya. You. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. And Madam Mayor, where can people find you? Let's get your, your, uh, la your, your website, not your website, your YouTube page in the chat. Uh, anything that you want to tell everybody and share before uh, we say good night? Uh, my channel is Madam Mayor's Adventures. And just stay tuned because it just keeps getting crazier and crazier. <laughs> A lot of people, people in the town between Lynette and John and Russell. It's just a mess. And now it's in Levy County as well with the judge. It's complete insanity. I mean, hopefully some of this gets resolved soon. Some people would like to live normal lives, especially Jeremy and George. So I'm lucky enough not to be in this mess anymore. Although I keep visiting because I feel so bad for some of these people. Thank you so much. They want me to have my mom. <laughs> well i so i agree giving me a message for you megan that you should get miko on for more information on the joker list yes i so have seen they said to reach that. out to someone named miko yes -E -E. i know miko. yep i know miko okay and i will so make sure that i do that yeah. So, I mean, all this stuff is unbelievable. I appreciate everybody's support with covering all of this and just stay tuned for what is still going on. Hopefully it ends at some point. Hopefully. All right. You have a good night. All right. It's been great talking to y'all. You too. See you later. It's good to get caught up on some of the, uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, so much insanity, crazy. dude. There's I'm so going. I, I'm going through that that blog thing tomorrow. I I can't help it. Oh, it's insane. It's uh, insane. It's, well, I was like, I was noticing the part about Lynette running for election for town council. I want to read that part. Oh, hilarious! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it'll be all good. I think it'll be fun to talk about. Well, I was gonna play. I don't know how much time do you have left. I got a little bit. I had to, I had to, I hated it. I had to disappear. You know, so I went silent for a little while because uh, the kids, one of the kids stood and she's like, sis is chasing me with a paint roller. I was like, oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> was there paint on it? <laughs> no, it was just water. But I was like, oh no, they're painting the house. What's going on? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I, there actually is, um, so Miko Hayes that she was just talking about, he had um, he had the Jokalist on his on a program on Facebook. Miko's a journalist. He does he reports on some of the stuff oh I was God. talking about. Is, is it on there? Is there a Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Holy crap. Wait, I'm trying to you make it bigger. You got to send a link to that too. I need to Okay, wait. I'm trying to make it bigger. So Miko is an interesting character and I followed a lot of the stuff that he's done. I'll put it in the private chat for you. Uh, here you go. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me. 
I mean, and <laughs> like he reports on some pretty niche kind of things. And one of the things that he does is um, so on this particular program, he had Robert Beatty, the guy who hates me, who I'm not real fond of either, because he, without my permission, shared a huge uh, private message chat between me and him. Uh, and that's something that I really, it makes me angry. I never do that. It's really unprofessional to not tell someone who's, you know, instant messaging you about something to not tell them, Hey, anything you say to me here is for, uh, I can republish. I'm going to republish. I have a, you know, I, I have an intention to republish. Like I would always tell you, like, I would tell you, Chug, if something you were saying to me in a, in a private chat was like, Hey, I want to publish that. I'd be like, Hey, do I have your permission to publish that? Yeah, of course. And then we would talk about it. And if you said no, I would never do it. Well, I was in a conversation with Robert Beatty once about some of these same fraudsters that we know and report on. And he never told me he had any intention of of publishing our entire chat. Now, I didn't say anything in it that I regret, but I feel like it was extremely unprofessional. I will tell you that Miko Hayes and I have had conversations like that, and he's never published any of them. So I have no problems with Miko at all. Uh, he and I disagree on some things. Uh, Miko and Robert Beatty are more on the side of, they're more on believing the government side of things when it comes to CPS cases. And they have their reasons for that. Um, I tend to really distrust the government most of the time. Yeah. And I just, that's just the way I see things. But they see well, things from an opposite point of view, which is fine. I, I have no problem with people who have different opinions than me. But it's funny that we both found these people who prey on parents who lose their kids to CPS. We both, on, and I'm on the anti-government side and he's on the pro-government side, but we both found these group of people. Um, so we've kind of traded notes about them. So he's had, he had her on this show. He wanted to have her on to debate some case uh, that she was supposedly covering something about the sovereign, and it's always the sovereign citizens, sovereign citizen Arlena Willis. Now, I don't know this story. I don't know the underlying story. But the first 30 minutes of this is literally just trying to get her to figure out a link. It's so funny. I'm going to play some of it. What is up, guys? So we are doing a special thing. Miko like, makes me laugh. Um the lovely Miss Shara, as some of you saw the other night, tried to call in and on a video conference and horribly failed. Oh, that might have been that one. So Maybe I haven't seen this one. I am officially <laughs> going to bend rules for her, and I'm going to let her call in to talk about uh, sovereign citizen Arlena uh, Wiles, who is facing felony child abuse charges. So here in just a second, I'm going to put a number up on the screen. And I ask nobody else abuse it and just let Shara use it to call in. If feel that uh, they put a situation, I believe that one actually puts it. Uh, I had an autistic son. Uh, he basically, she's accused of medical neglect. Uh, she removed him from one hospital. A social worker got involved because it was against the hospital suggesting. Um, a social worker showed up at her house and the social worker and her husband convinced her to um, take him back to the hospital. So they took him back to Phoenix Children's Hospital. She removed an IV and then uh, she got asked to leave the hospital. She ended up saying she didn't need to answer to CPS. She started following the sovereign practices of David Jose, David Strait, Francesca Amato, um, Okay, Basically. those people that he is naming right now, those are the people that I'm talking about. Those are the ones that I found that he was following. And then I found him because he was following these David Jose, David Strait, Francesca Amato, like all these people. And the joke list likes to say that she's not connected to them. And she says that I'm I'm slandering her for, for connecting her to them. Um, but that's not entirely true. And I'm sure if she was being honest, she would say that she's listened to many of them. And I don't know if she's believed them or not. Uh, but when I'm speaking of people who have preyed on parents, I'm specifically speaking of those group of people he just named who sell affidavits. I have no idea if the joke list is involved in that or not. I just know that she knows a lot of the same people. I have no idea if she's involved in selling affidavits that are total scams, the sovereign citizen shit. I have no idea. Uh, but I would I would advise her 
to never, ever be involved in that. Because if I ever find out about it, it'll be front page news. Because that kind of shit is the shit that I just cannot stand. Um, but it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like she's that organized to have done any of that. But these are the people I'm talking about. This is the group of people, and they it's a very small group. Is that the real Shara in the chat, or is that a fake? One? I think so. I think so. Um, oh, it's good. <laughs> it's good to hear you're not connected to any of the affidavits and don't handle CPS CPS cases, and that's good. Don't you shouldn't. You shouldn't do any of this. You should go back to songwriting and work on those and like just be a singer or something. I mean, it's it's better than whatever this is that you're doing because this is silliness. If it, turning in a bunch of nonsensical sovereign documents and uh, she also ended up being charged with two felony counts of child abuse for medical neglect. So that's about as quick of a summary as I can give. Um, Shara, your show, actually, you don't have any sort of copyright over the words Tea Time, and there's actually mm -hmm. YouTube channels already established with Tea Time. But I'll explain to you why I chose Tea Time uh, once you uh, call in. So again, I ask you guys not abuse this number. As right, we'll skip forward, see if she calls in. Nonsensical idea into... So if somebody wants to tag, Dan all right. Okay, so um, I did want to explain to you one of the reasons why this is called tea time is because a lot of people have heard me and you go back and forth, but <laughs> hey, can, can you I actually yeah. have Robert. I actually thought I thought that was a troll in the chat because she's freaking out so much. I was reading. Oh, I haven't if even I, been reading it. I just, I read I just uh, if, if I start laughing, I'm not laughing at the coverage over here. I'm just laughing at some of the shit. Look, stay tuned. <laughs> oh. You didn't judge me. You're supporting abusers. Stay tuned, Fox. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Uh. <laughs> yes, I'm very, very afraid. I'm very, yeah. very afraid. Uh, abuse. I don't know who the abusers are that you are speaking of. The only abuser that I know of uh, was the one that we read the psychological report and spoke to her victims. It was the only one I know. Me. I don't know. I'm not judging you. I mean, I'm allowed to judge music that I hear. <laughs> I I'm am allowed... judging you. <laughs> I guess I am judging you. Maybe I'm judging you. Like, maybe I'm judging you. So what? I can judge you. This is America. This is America, ma'am. And here in America... We are allowed to have our First Amendment rights. The First Amendment isn't just for you. The First Amendment is for me, too, and for Tug. And we will wave that flag bravely in the face of censorship. We will never be silenced by the likes of you. Anyway, stay tuned, saying. Megan. Stay, stay tuned. tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in your next song. Bert Beatty oh. on this call. All right. Are we going to ever get anybody on the call? Is the question. Oh no, we're spinning. We're spinning. Not the spinny wheel of death. No spinning. Can't hear Shara. Oh, you can't hear her. <laughs> they never can. Okay, this is where. Here, I'll. I'll just. I'm just going to have to watch over this and mute and unmute. Um, Are you having music again, Miko? Well, we wouldn't be if you knew how to use video conferencing because right now Robert's even using my video conferencing link. You seem to have a little bit of an issue with your video conferencing right now. Uh, you appear to be the only one having the issue, Shara. But Robert, I, I can just uh, mute and unmute her. Can you hear her when I mute that or unmute that? I did hear a little bit there. Okay. I mean, Shara, if you want me to send you the link, you can just connect through what Robert's oh, on. Oh, God, Tug, this is the one. This is the one where she can't figure it. This goes on for oh. 30 minutes. Oh, this is going to be magic. It's, right oh. now, it's, I mean, it works. Okay, what, how, are you, how are you doing this? What are we doing? I'm here. I'm on the phone. I called. I hear her now. Okay, yeah, so I can just monitor and I can... uh. Just click back and forth. Okay. Sorry, okay. just wait. Rage quit the chat. <laughs> she did? Yeah, she was did like, she... This, this is not journalism. Groupie news is not my gig. Bye. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's not going yeah. anywhere. She's going to listen to this entire thing, every yeah. second of it. Every second of it, she's going to listen to. And you know what? You need to listen to it, Chara. <laughs> listen to it. Listen to it good and hard, okay? You need to listen to this. You're in the wrong line of work, ma'am. You're in the wrong line of work. How many people need to tell you this? Please, for God's sake, go do something else. Like, aren't you like kind of an artist? You seem like an artsy kind of person. Like, can you paint or, or something or make crocheted sweaters? Like, the, you should be at an arts and crafts fair. I have that vibe about you that like you make jewelry or like you could be at an arts and crafts fair doing things, making people happy. What you're doing doesn't make people happy. And claiming that you don't cover stories of CPS cases is false. Arlena Willis, this story that he's talking about was a CPS case. Please stop telling people you don't do what we know you've done in the past. And maybe you're not doing it now, but why are you covering? Why are you working for, for Lynette? What is happening? Why would you go? Why would you even pick her as a client if that's what it is? And I don't know. I don't know how you do your business model. I've never charged anyone, though, for my journalism. I did one time tell someone that it would cost them $250 to talk to me on the phone, though. <laughs> is she the uh, friend that all the turtles disappeared to? Is that what she paid her in turtles? Oh, Ooh. my God. Did you get God, paid in turtles? Did she get paid in turtles? That could have happened. Um, but, no, I mean, I, 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 have, I get paid for, you know, by clicks. You know, people click on my article, I get paid. One time, though, I did tell someone that I would speak to her for $250. But that was because she was harassing me and she was demanding to get on the phone with me. So I said, okay, here's my Venmo or PayPal or whatever. Send me $250 and I'll get on the phone with you for 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, you can pay me another $250. <laughs> I was expecting her to say no. She did, of course, say no. But then she sent emails to everyone saying that I was trying to shake her down. I was really just trying to get out of a phone call that I didn't want to be on because she was nuts. <laughs> so <laughs> if I ever tell you, you have to pay me to talk to me, you know that I just don't want to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> End of story. That's one of my tricks as a journalist. You learn that. I love this. This just gets so painful, Tug. Well, Shara, do you want to explain uh, jurisdiction to Robert? We're waiting. We've got a problem with that. Uh, you know, when a, um, a police officer takes a report and it's the first report, I, I see you talking online, but I don't, I don't hear anything. Like, I don't know, who, who are you talking to? You gotta love a guy who still smokes a normal cigarette. <laughs> Everybody way. can hear you right now. Don't you? Sure. Really? You Everybody do. Everybody can hear you. Well, can you get all of us on at the same time? Where is Robert Bailey? Robert's sitting right there. He's <laughs> listening to you, too. <laughs> yes, yes, I can hear, hear, hear him. I'd like to hear what he's saying. <laughs> well, do you want to try and quick click the link again? Or you can turn on your own audio on your computer. I can send you <laughs> the link to click on, like, right now. <laughs> oh, shit. So that would just lead to another two hours of the same problems for another night. <laughs> this is night two of this. <laughs> Not on my Mac. Well, you realize this is a Google approved link. I sent you the screenshot showing Google said it's not a malicious link. On that, that little baby, uh-uh. I don't get it. <laughs> what did she say? No, uh, -uh, I don't do that. No, -uh. I don't do that, baby. Uh, uh. I don't. -uh. No, -uh, baby. I don't click links. I don't click links. <laughs> I don't click. Uh, I don't click that... your dangerous links. Man, there's some more song that? lyrics. That's a dangerous link. I'm not doing that to my Mac. It's a brand new Mac. It costs thousands of dollars. You're not gonna. You're not gonna trick me into clicking a link. It's a beautiful Mac. It's a beautiful Mac. I won't do that. Okay, so you can't hear Robert right now is what you're saying. Robert, what? So we can, yeah, a baseboard to begin. Here, Robert, do you want to try talking and we'll see if 
she can hear you. Just say testing, something short. Testing. This is Robert Beatty. Testing. 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 He, no. he's, the one, he's the one who who publishes private uh, private messages. <laughs> Just FYI. I don't. Okay. Well, and okay. see, this wouldn't be a problem if you weren't so difficult, Shara. <laughs> oh, I'm doing this difficult. It's your technical issue, not mine. <laughs> no, it's literally your technical issues, Shara. You could join the same conference that Beatty is on right now. How, how come I don't see him on the video? Because he's not on video wise. I don't even have to put you on video if you join this conference. Oh my God. So give me a number to call in. It's why, not a why? number, it's a link through the vMix software. Miko is so patient. This dude is such a cool dude. I can't even tell you. He's he really is. Miko's a really cool dude. He never loses it. This is software, Shara. This is streaming software software. If you cared about your streams, this is like the sort of stuff you would be using. Here, it didn't work on my phone last time. It worked on my phone and it worked on Hannah's. What? You need to do it on the computer. I'm not gonna do it on the computer. Seems, Seems to have worked, worked on mine. mine. Yeah, Robert, are you on phone or are you on computer right now? Oh my God, I just I'm on, on the computer. computer. I just realized Sophie says, "Can we all thank Char for subscribing?" That's right, the chat's on subscriber only. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> please well, like and subscribe. You. I wonder if she liked the video too. Make sure you're all liking and subscribing, by the way. 2,800 of you in here. If you haven't liked or subscribed, I am going to have to sh mom shame you. Are your thumbs broken? Is that why you didn't do Don't make me pull this chat over and get the chancla. Just hit the like button and subscribe. And yes, thank you, Shara, for, for subscribing to my channel just so you can chat. <laughs> I'll take it. Robert used it from his computer. He's on right now. From it's the exact same link I would send to that I sent to Robert. Why can't you just get us on a conference? Pull him onto our phone call. She wants a conference. I, I was call. trying to do that actually because I know how uneducated you are with technology, but Google Voice isn't allowing me to do that. That was my initial plan. A conference call like it's 19 well, you didn't tell me about this plan this is not your initial plan no it, it was because you seemed too busy to do your tea time with robert so i figured i would just allow you guys to have a tea time right here but you're not only controlling my page you're also controlling my tea time too um no this is my life shard this, you're on my life right now <laughs> but you called it tea time and you set me up with it come on <laughs> Oh, Tug, do you understand what's happening right yeah. now? She's like, wait, you're controlling my life? No, no, Shara, you're on my life. But you called it tea time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who cares? You don't have a copyright over the words tea time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're showing my poster of my tea time, and you're using my poster and setting me up with Robert Beatty for tea time. Okay, great. We are super cool. You know, whatever. Sue for copyright, whatever. Do you want me to send you this link so that you can join the conversation? I heard Keith in the background, and Keith is 100% correct. Like, have Keith I'm not, help you do it. I don't do links on this computer. I'll do it on my phone. Is it to get so, your link together? So you don't, you don't go online on that computer is what you're saying. I do not do links. I don't touch links on that computer. You realize computers, that's, that's what happens when you're online. I can right now even pull up the, the Google <laughs> tester for this link again and show you that it is not a malicious link but according to link Google. Send, send the link properly to my phone. I will, I will type my name in like you said, and I'll press the little blue bar and we'll see what happens. Oh my God, you're so annoying. <laughs> Shit. and what page are you going to send it from which name well it would probably be the discuss page seeing that you had so many problems last time oh i didn't have problems your link was not working my link worked for multiple other people and now it's working for it, it baby it didn't work 
It didn't work. But it did work from my cell phone <laughs> and Hannah's. <laughs> and got it together now a little. I mean, I had it together last time. That's why Hannah was able to use it. And that's why I kept on showing you it, it worked on my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we lost a subscriber. I, mean, I, I joined that conference call from my cell phone on live. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Now, I just type my name in, right? You can put whatever name you want. It doesn't matter because it's not... Even on. Uh, can you this is, for a second? You know what this what? is like? If anybody's ever wondered what me and IT Goatee Brad's phone calls sound like, <laughs> it's literally like this. With IT Goatee Brad trying to talk me down off of some tech ledge. Do I put my name in? <laughs> Let me do this so you can see I'm doing it the right way. I type my name in and I press that little blue bar. Join call. Whoops. <laughs> Hello, Keith. Oh, where did it go? It just bounced off. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I'm going to press join call. We'll see what happens. Okay, the same thing appeared. Keith, come here for a second. Come here. Same thing happened as the other day. Look at this. So Miko here. is just on Facebook as far as I know. I will put his Facebook have me join. link in here. Look what happened when I press join. See? Okay, so do you see three little buttons at the top? No. It, it, it has the same thing. The little okay, blue then, square. Okay, then copy that link and open it in Safari in your browser. Open it in Safari. On the link on the no, I'm not doing it on my computer. I will never do that. I won't it's do a on safe computer. link. Like, Keith, I can even I show you right now no. on Google Analysis, like, if it's a malicious link at all, and it's not. How do you do that? Keith. So just so you guys know, on the Hold screen on. right now, Keith, come over here, I said. what I'm showing you is, is a safe link. Copy. This is from Google. It's transparencyreport.google. This is Google analyzing this link. Doug, is this not the greatest entertainment you've ever seen in your whole life? This is amazing. We haven't even gotten <laughs> anywhere. It's just like, oh my God, it's so bad. It's so bad. You know, Miko used to have a YouTube page. I don't know if he got rid of it. Like last time I talked to him, he was doing, he was like not doing as many streams as he used to. He used to stream all the time. Oh yeah, wait, here it is. He does still have a YouTube page. Okay, here, I'm going to put it in here. And he is funny. I mean, he really is. He and I disagree on things, on, on some things, but I think that he is really funny. And, like, he has this really dry sense of humor. And, like, he he's just funny. So go and subscribe to him on YouTube and tell him that I sent you. I don't know if he's, like, see, his last video was up, th was three years ago. Yeah, his last live stream is three years ago. I don't think he's live streaming on YouTube right now. I think he's only doing Facebook. So I also put his Facebook link in the chat for you guys. But I asked him about YouTube the last time I talked to him. And he was just like, yeah, I'm not really doing it anymore. And he just had some stuff going on. So I don't know. It's, it's too bad because I used to watch his streams. Tug's here. What do you mean, where's Tug? He's here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> I was writing song lyrics. And if you'll notice, honest. no unsafe content found. This is not a malicious link. Even Google says this link works. It's a good link. Okay, now I, excuse me, I put it in Safari, and I'm going to type it again and see what happens. You know, you should just get it together on the phone like I asked you, like you said you were doing. You well, Shara, doing some people that are adults and have nice live streams actually don't just use your house phone to have people call in. No, listen, you said I was going to call in, and that's what I did. Well, you're not going to be on video. This is still calling in. If you'll notice, you can't see Robert, but he's on okay. right now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just a moment. Excuse now it's doing something that it looks like it's going to work. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. To open. Come over here. Keith, come here. Jesus Sorry, we were. <laughs> Hold on, let me tell you what it says. This is your link, not mine, dude. It's the link that Robert's on right now. It says here, sorry, but we were unable to, to connect your we camera. We are 18 minutes in. 
18 minutes. Please make sure a suitable webcam is plugged in, then selected in your browser. All in right, Chrome, Kiki. The camera microphone may be selected by clicking the camera icon. Like, what the hell is all this? Like, th this sounds like, what? <laughs> I'm going to screenshot this so you can see exactly what's going on here. See what? You have to allow permission. It's not, it can't pick up your phone if you don't allow it to use your camera or microphone, Shara. Keith needs a pay raise. I did allow it. I said yes. I allowed it. And then it put something else up here. Let me, let me just say we're working Tuck now. I fell Hold asleep on. a long time ago. <laughs> would like to access your microphone and camera. Look, I'm doing it again. If they ask me. Keith, would just like do it for <laughs> Just handle allow. it for <laughs> Keith Hancock. Not listening. He says Mark Feather could have finished this case by now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Pico. <laughs> Unable to open camera. Why is that? That would be your phone. That has nothing to do with my software. I that is your phone. Oh, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. me. It says I'm able to me. open camera and my camera works fine on my phone when I do my live on Facebook. So why is it saying that? How would I know? I'm not technical to know how to what? That's nothing to do with it. She's not technical. Could have fooled me. Danielle Oatmeal says this is going to drive me to meth and I don't even drink sodas. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, but we are not unable to connect. Uh, Dude, to your use Key's phone. Use Make the sure computer. I Just click the, sure the link can... is fine. Let's get in your browser. We did. Chrome, it's not working, dude. You know, you just said you were. I don't understand you. You said you were going to allow me to call in, and now you're doing this again. You're not going to be on video. It's still a call in. You're just calling in through my software. I don't care what it is. If I'm on video or not, it's fine. I'm just trying. It's not working. I told you that. It's saying here. Well, then I'm there's something wrong with your phone. Just open it on it, your computer. Phone. Well, then why when I go on Facebook Live, it opens right up. It's a new, it's a new, it's a new iPhone. Like there's nothing wrong with it. Well, then just open it on your computer. That's simple. No, I don't want to open it on my computer. I just showed you Google even <laughs> said it's not a malicious link. There's nothing malicious on it. Google analog. All right, we're at 20 minutes. Let's go in 27 minutes and see if we're still talking about the same thing. It is because you, you set me up with Robert Beatty. You're like, you're like hosting me and Robert Beatty. You didn't tell me you were doing that. You see, so you are actually a little trickster. Uh, Beatty said he just sent Keith a link. Trickster. So we're still, yep, we're still. All right, let's go to 30 minutes in. Hey, there's, okay. <laughs> Pay attention. I'm saying this is my first time doing multiple on a vo on a video call. I sent you okay, another. Wait, wait, wait. I, I think. I, me telling me it's my technical issue. I sent you on. a second link that you guys can join through and I can add to this setup. We sent you a second link. I sent link. I sent you to you. It's in your messenger, Shara. <laughs> okay. okay. We're still Why? we are 30 minutes in. Let's try 35 minutes. Have we fixed fixed it by 35? I'm... Robert, do you have a specific question for Shara with the jurisdiction? Oh God, we and might we'll just be let her here. answer that, then hang up on her and let you uh, <laughs> hang explain up on what, her. what's happened. <laughs> We can talk about the FBI's A team as well, since you don't get that one either. Right. Right. Robert, are you still out there? <laughs> no, we lost Robert. He fell asleep. We, I feel like we might have lost Beatty in this <laughs> whole ordeal. Oh, no. You should get it together, Miko. <laughs> I mean, it's been together with everybody else but you. It doesn't sound too, too together right now. I'm sorry. Oh, no. it That's because you, of you. you. Again, yeah, you're the I'm... only factor of chaos that seems to keep on screwing <laughs> shit up it, it, when it comes not... to these lives. Your link didn't work for Keith either. He tried it on his computer. It didn't work. But again, my link worked for Beatty. It worked for Hannah. It worked. It didn't work. It didn't work when we tried on two oh, devices. Here. Robert, I might have had you muted. I couldn't hear you just now, but it's still working for Robert. Robert's still on. Locals, I'm not ignoring you. I'm in the chat. It didn't work here. Okay, I'm sure it didn't. Well, it didn't. Keith is pretty technical, and he couldn't get it to work. Okay, okay Robert, I got Let's try 40 minutes. I can, I can, I can spend, spend a, 
couple of minutes explaining where I'm coming from. Oh, God, not with that echo. Please tell me you're not going to let him continue talking with that echo. And Arlena appealed and lost her appeal. So that baby can talk. We're finally talking about it. Um, Honest, there's actually a link in the description. Okay. I was going to uh, mention in the context of you showing that screenshot of my article on Arlena, there it is, that that was posted originally in March of 2019 when I picked up on her federal case, uh, which was a frivolous sovereign citizen type of case uh, Five requesting hours habeas later. corpus. And the court ultimately dismissed that as frivolous and without merit. In many similar cases like that, the court acts rather quickly within a couple of weeks or so. But in Arlena's case, they did drag it out. And Arlena appealed and lost her appeal. And, of course, the context of that case was the situation with her child. Uh, And later, she was charged with uh, criminal conduct, which is now pending before the Maricopa County Court. Again, I just want to point out that Shara told us earlier tonight she doesn't cover CPS cases. This is a CPS case. (laughs) Which brings up the jurisdiction issue, which has been recently batted around. I had been pretty much... Uh, going my own way and the other day uh, one of my agents indicated that Shara had made a comment about me uh, and it disappeared from her page I don't know the ins and outs of all that but I did get curious as to what she was saying about me and what I had done is post a reference to a article from the judicial branch of Arizona, the Superior Court website, and it discussed the jurisdiction of that court. Uh, and uh, hold on, just a second, Bate. Sure, there's no point to call in right now. You are 100. You were on hold. That's what that noise was a second ago. That was her hanging up and trying to call back in. Um, Robert's got the floor right now, Shara, because you've been so. <laughs> he dis- let her go. He let her go. She's not even on anymore. What is, how far is that, Ian? 43 minutes. Oh she, she hung up on herself and Miko's like, nope, you're out. You're out. 43 minutes. Okay, so that was just a taste, you guys. That was just a taste of of uh, the the jokalist trying to be interviewed. She All she did was try and figure out a link that she couldn't figure out how to click on. Um, so, you know, this is what we're dealing with, Tug. It's not, she's not the smartest, uh, I'm not the brightest ball. I, 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 she is, she is great for song lyrics. I've been, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> Are you ready to drop a new one? Oh man, I'm working on some, you know, you're working on something. something oh something? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just got to find beads after I do it, but I'm working on it right now. <laughs> awesome. She, she's material. I mean, it's awesome. Like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. My camera works just fine. Can Recording you make from it? purgatory. Hey, what's my line? I was like, yeah, that sounds good. Can you can you have a a female voice on AI do it? Um, maybe. maybe. You should have a female voice do it. It'll be hilarious. I, I might. I'll see. I'll see what sounds what sounds funnier to me. You know, I'm, I'm obsessed with hard bass like that. <laughs> you know? so, I know that's true. I would find a, I would find no, you like need to make it a pop song. You need no country. Country, oh, no. yes, it has to be country. Blue bird <laughs> on the window, or whatever the hell. Uh, Candace Bingham says, I will send you my private DMs with her. Oh, no, don't do that. I don't want to see them. I hate private DMs unless they're really funny. Are they funny? They're interesting. She admitted to me that Michelle is scary for Harley. Have you seen her? Na na poo poo. What? No, no, I have not. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, Candice, we, we may need to discuss that further. Um, 
Janice Wingfield, thanks for the super chat, says, Shard always says she has a rock eater of an attorney. Why she calls him that, no <laughs> one knows. A rock eater? <laughs> oh, I need that one. You got to add rock eater. Rock, rock eater, eater doesn't make any sense. That That's like a bad thing. Of an attorney. There we go. <laughs> that means a really stupid person. Tracy Fagan, welcome to the Fox Den. It looks like a corn, she says. Uh, uh, Tra uh, Rachel McCullough, thanks for the super chat, says feathers in the hair were roach clips. Well, that's true. They were roach clips, weren't they? Uh, Sarah Adams says, I don't want to cry. I know it was about Mo and Fry. I'm sorry. Rosalind Duke, thanks for the super chat, says I memed. It's on locals. I think I caught up with all the locals memes. The DCV Titan, thanks for the super chat, says that a woman or, you know, a woman plus. I don't know what that means. What's a woman plus? Kimberly Martin, thanks for the super sticker. Larry Stevens, stop, go back to the train emoji. <laughs> <laughs> you got to throw emojis in the song, Tug. You got to have like like all the emojis. Can you like enter an emoji in a song? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 it you, you know how you'll hear like a trail off voice or something? It could be like smiley emoji. Train smiley emoji. emoji. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Teresa Finn says, no more, please. LOL. Uh, Susan Scat says, Tug, you are hilarious. I agree. Tug is hilarious. I have so my days. Funny. Some days. Risa Murphy says, Thank, uh, thanks for the super chat. My dogs are howling. Stop the ear torture. I can't wait to listen back to my singing in my Reddit voice. Claire Kershaw, thanks for the super chat, says, stop, please. You can have all of my ramen money. Well, that well, the two dollars will buy you like two whole packs of ramen. Awesome. Good night, Fairy Fox. Good night, night. I love you. Love you too. Get some good sleep and take some. Why don't you take some cough medicine? You sound terrible. Oh. You sound like a barking seal. Like, I feel like I'm dying. Still. I know. My poor, my poor middle child. She's been sick for a while. She's going to bed now. <laughs> Teresa Minnesota, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the 20. That B music I earned back in the day makes me question some people's sanity when they think they possess even a modicum of talent. You know, I don't mind it, to tell you the truth. Like, I don't mind it if somebody has, you know, medium talent and they're working it out, doing their thing. It's fine. Like, everybody should try to develop their talents. And here's a good story. Bette Midler. Hey, what, it, what is, what, what, sorry, kid. Uh, what, what? Are y'all throwing stuffed animals down the steps? <laughs> <laughs> First they were painting each other. Now they're tossing. They're, they're flying like a baby doll just came rolling down. So I was like, what the world? It's like some <laughs> possession story or something. <laughs> like what in the world is that? <laughs> then I heard, <laughs> and then the door closed. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? Okay, that's, that? that's creepy. It was very, actually my, so my, my oldest daughter, when she was little, she had a, she had an imaginary friend she called Scary Gary Gumball, which doesn't sound that bad, right? <laughs> Scary Gary Gumball. Scary Gary Gumball lived in the walls and he had sharp teeth and spindly legs. And the first time she told me about him, I was the like, hell? yeah, I was like, that's really creepy. And she was like, <laughs> no, dad, don't worry. He comes out sometimes the walls. In fact, he's right behind you. And I mean, she was like <gasps> three when she said, I was like, oh my God, I've seen this movie before. <laughs> I don't like this movie. <laughs> I don't want did, to be here anymore. Stop. Did you hear, did, did this music start playing? <laughs> <laughs> God, that's really freaky. I had yeah, she was like, he lives in the walls and he knocks when he wants to come out. I was like, oh my God, this is so creepy. My daughter, one of my daughters had a imaginary friend whose name was Bibbo. And Bibbo was a bee, but Bibbo was always getting her into trouble. I eventually had to ban Bibbo from the house. I was like, you can play with Bibbo outside. How about that? <laughs> Bibbo has Bibbo's a bee. Bibbo has to stay outside. And then all of a sudden she quit getting in trouble. Because Bibbo wasn't around anymore. Oh, lordy. Um, Ninja Puppy, thanks for the super chat, says priceless. Uh, and Mama Bear, thanks for the 10, says Jeremy released the video from Harley's family. And they said that there was no adoption. It was guardian only. And birth mom wrote in paperwork that she didn't want to sign them and doing it against her will. Yeah, that may have been how it happened on the birth side. Unfortunately, it does appear that a judge terminated their parental rights through a judicial process. Um, undoing that is very difficult. 
I don't know if it was done under false pretenses or anything, but that's something for a, an adoption specialist to really look into. So hopefully they'll find someone who can do that and really dig into how it happened. Rachel, thanks for the super chat said you two are hilarious. My ribs hurt. Oh, I was telling a funny story about the singing, by the way. So in case you feel like you can never sing and you're not a good singer, Bette Midler went to high school with my mom and they were really good friends. And she was in theater. She loved to act and she was a really good actor, but she was a very bad singer. And my mother is a really good singer. And so were her friends. They were all in chorus and stuff. My mom was an opera singer and her, her grandmother was famous. And, um, my mother and these other friends of hers used to go caroling and Bet always wanted to come with them. And they would always make up excuses why not to have her because she couldn't sing. She just could not carry a tune. And obviously you all know that Bette Midler is a big singing star. And the way she got that way was she took massive lessons. Like she took voice lessons for years and learned how to sing. And she was very tone deaf. And look at her now. And I've seen her live. She can sing. And she sound, and of course she's made a big, huge success of it. So if you can't sing, it's not, it's not totally over. So if you love to do it and you want to do it, well, go do it. But don't be a journalist also on top of it when you don't know what you're doing. Margaret Tear, thanks to the super chat, says Broken Biscuit Boy is Thomas. He's a slime bag. I don't know who that is, but thank you for updating us. Kathy McClure, thanks for the 20, says here, Megan, I'll help out. LOL, I'm so glad that you and DUI guys started covering what the hails because I wouldn't have known what I was missing. You guys are good therapy. Thank you so much. Tug too, of course. Uh, Janice Wingfield, thanks for the 10, says Shard thinks a brush yeah, really. truck. Thanks for leaving me out. Jeez, <laughs> man. Whatever. I'm, I quit now. <laughs> He's raging out of here. Yeah. Uh, Shard thinks a brush truck like can fight oh. structure fires. <laughs> the truck had no one certified to operate the truck brush trucks fight grass and brush fires. Well, that's probably why it says brush on the side of it. Major Mom, thanks for the super chat. Today, Jeremy posted a copy of Shara Blasting Lynette. I think that was from September, if I'm not mistaken. I think they made up since then. Dennis Copper, thanks for the super chat, says, hello, Madam Mayor. Tracy Fagan, thanks for the super chat, says they have not responded because their council is in shambles. Yeah, that's what the mayor said. Uh, Michelle Natal, thank you for the super chat. Says Jeremy has the fourth hour hearing from Ohio. I'm sure he will re replay this week. Tube Town is coming. Um, I believe, yeah, I think he had to. He has to pick it up in person or something. I'm not sure. Tube Melody Town. Couture, <laughs> are you singing? Yep. Tube Town is coming. Tube Town. I'm a Kool Aid drinking, fact finding fan. So what? <laughs> <laughs> I love some of these super chats. K Matt Red Queen says, Madam Mayor wants to join. Thank you guys for letting me know. Mr. Ski says, Madam Mayor likes a links, please to come up. Uh, I think like 8 million of you tried to tell me this. Madam Mayor wants to join. Thank you. <laughs> a Starbucks. I, I've Generally learned a, I've learned something there. Like, don't invite people wrong right away. You'd be like, oh, I didn't notice you in the chat. I didn't those see 500 it. Super chats. Thank you. <laughs> Look at here's all the same super chats. Uh, Bab22, thanks for the super chat. Says, my understanding is Jeremy got paper emails from Otter Creek and then paid someone to scan them. Otter Creek has no digital copy. Well, if they were emails, they have to be digital because <laughs> that's how they got to the, the town hall. Wagstall007, thanks for the 10. JH asked for records of all OC meetings from previous Mayor Russ, the sus, and they kept ignoring him, so he took the town to court. And I'm sure he won it because you can't keep public records from the public. Suzanne Parrish, thanks for the super chat, says Thomas Collins is Biscuit Boy. I still don't know these nicknames yet. Teddy O'Hearn, thanks for the super chat. Mayor sent an email. Thank you. Look at how many of these super chats are for the mayor. Please invite Madam Mayor. Thanks, Ruth. Uh, Kara Wolf, Jeremy wants to join in. He didn't really. <laughs> Joanne Wall, that was a perfect example of Jeremy being pressured by other people to join. Peer pressure. And then we were pressured to ask him and then he felt bad for saying no. And so he like he didn't need to be here. Just quit doing yeah, that just to him. Yeah, just say, just say, I mean, well, you know, he, he, he just shouldn't feel obligated. People do that in the chat all the time. <laughs> you know? Oh, I know. I know. Just don't feel obligated to ever say yes. Joanne Wall says, Megan, check your email for, from Madam Mayor. Boy, these people were very concerned that I was missing this. 
Crit Magna became a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. We have lots of scary noises. Uh, Candace Migley, thanks to the super chat, says she's by Jeremy. And Kimberly Martin, she is at Jeremy's. Oh, Mayor Madam. I mean, Madam Mayor. <laughs> Mayor Madam. Mama of boys. Hey, <laughs> Ashley, how are you? She says, hey, guys, thanks for the super chat, Ashley. Um, Janice Wingfield, thanks for the super chat. Shart publishes her crap on Facebook. She does Tea Time Radio on Facebook. Shart doesn't have a website. Well, yeah, radio is not a thing on Facebook. You have to actually, if you're going to do a radio show, you need to be on a station with a call letter. Tracy Fagan, thanks for the super chat, says, Tug, new song about the two-inch pipe. That's, <laughs> and look, you could call it a pipe laying son of a gun. This one's working so, pretty well so far. <laughs> did you find a, did you find a beat yet? I haven't found a beat. I can't tra test the beats until I, you know. I want the, cow, I want it to be like a cowboy uh, Western. I don't know. See, uh, see, it won't be from her point of view. It'd just be making fun of her though. Oh, so, that's uh, true. So yeah, it has yeah. to be from your point of view. Kev C. Thanks for the super chat. Let's start taxes by the size of men's pipes. They always exaggerate. <laughs> Fair for all. Auto tune, please. You know what? I don't have a good auto tune button on my voice mod. I don't know why, but voice mod does not have a good auto tune button. They all sound stupid. Like, for instance, here, I'll show you. Yes. I think it's at your voice lab. Um, oh, there's something wrong with my voice mod right now. Sorry. I can't do it. I don't know why. It's not letting me put anything on. Hmm. Well, but my auto-tune doesn't work well. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of new ones. Oh, weird. Yeah, auto tune. I don't know what the deal is, but like they sound. It, all it is is it sounds like I'm in har three part harmony. It's not auto tune. It's very strange. Um, but I I've tried to find a good one, but I can't. Janice Wingfield says Jeremy needed the two inch pipe so he could get water to his home that's set way back from the road. He was the only one being charged at the double rate. That seems illegal and questionable. Kimberly Martin says Shard is in chat. Oh no. <laughs> We're going to have another string of super chats to tell me that Jokalis is in the chat, line netting it up. Mimi, line netting. <laughs> line netting it up. <laughs> Janice Winfield, Shire Michelle, go spread your lies elsewhere. Elsewhere, you're a fake journalist. Um, and SF, thanks for the super chat. And just think, all of this is coming out because a judge was being an idiot and getting the attention of LawTube. Yeah. Yeah. Sam Ramam. Thank you for the super chat says, oh my, Shara Austin, the fake reporter. Oh, wait, she said she wasn't a reporter, is in the chat. Uh, yeah, everybody is telling me that she's in the chat. Tom, thank you for telling me. Kimberly Martin, thank you for telling me. <laughs> Eva Ramberg Lopez, thank you for telling me. I appreciate all of this. I really do. David Washburn, explore the two inch pipe while Judge Grudge is on pause. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Janice Wakefield, thanks for the chat. Super chat, Shara is on Twitter, is Twitter pated with Miko Hayes. <laughs> Twitter pated. Twitter word. pated. <laughs> Kat, thanks for the super chat, says, wow, this place sounds like a wonderful place to live. Otter Straight Jacket Creek, my kind of town. Well, you know, I got to tell you, I could be down for the uh, for the the tailgating at the town hall meetings. Warrior Biatch, thanks for the super chat, says, people want you to know the chart is in the chat. <laughs> Uh, now this is a good question for you tug it's not a super chat but i started because i wanted you to look at it tug can you briefly explain why people would want to make others they do not know to suffer what these folks are doing to jeremy does not make any sense to me are we talking which people are we talking about you know it depends the people going gonna... after jeremy yeah well because... i mean they're all going to have their private motivations you know i mean it's not it's 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 not just going to be one you know singular mental health issue or and again can't remote diagnose but I mean Lynette why why would she want it I mean it sounds like a need for revenge you know oh man he didn't do what she wanted therefore all these other people they have their own reasons you know yeah and I mean I think some people are just incredibly bored and I also think right. social media plays a part in this. I think social media plays a really damaging part in this where people start to believe that social media and what's on it is real life and it's everything and they're on social media all day long and they really need to put the phone down and touch some grass and realize that once you put that social media down or turn it off, it, it really doesn't exist anymore outside your front door. 
And this is the advice I give to Laura Owens too, where she goes to judges and police and she says, I'm being cyber bullied and I'm, I'm being harassed and all these people are talking about me. Ma'am, it's very simple. Turn your phone off. Walk outside in the beautiful Arizona Maricopa County desert and take a walk. And there will be no one there but the birds and some jackrabbits and traffic going by that doesn't even recognize you. And everything will be okay. So put the phones down. If you are feeling overwhelmed and like you're upset at the world, it's probably social media. Put it down. That's my advice. And I think that's why a lot of people do this stuff. Joanne Wall, thanks to the super chat, says, OMG, I'm dying here. Hashtag annoying joke list. <laughs> Jack's mom thinks the super chat says she better have something good to say after this, <laughs> after the 40 minutes of waiting for her to get connected. <laughs> Janice Wingfield, thanks for the super chat. My 14 year old cat, my 14 year old cat could have connected to the link by now for fuck's sake. <laughs> Char is technically impaired, obviously. Uh, Chris W. thinks the super chat says she is so dumb on the computer or phone. Yeah. And you know, a lot of us have those issues, uh, although hers seem worse than most. Tracy Fagan, thanks for the super chat, says, Brad. Uh, I agree. That's that's me calling for Brad's help all the time. Jack's mom, thanks for the super chat, says, Shark needs to put on her tinfoil hat to work. Maybe that was the problem, that she wasn't wearing her tinfoil hat. Barbara, the illustrator, says, it's the same tactics line that used with the deposition. Right. I can't hear you. <laughs> Auntie Chelly's Kitchen. Thanks for the super chances. I deal with people like this woman on a daily basis. It's why I drink the vodka. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're you're one of us. Jack's mom, thanks for the super chat. Says she can't follow a simple link. Why do we expect her to be able to correctly follow a lead? <laughs> Raise your hand if she gave you a migraine. Oh, M in chat for migraine, folks. Oh, here she comes. She's a rock eater. Thanks, Joanne Wall, for that super chat and that earworm. It's going to be in there all night. Chance NP, thanks for the super chat. Says rock eater makes me think of Pat Benatar's song, Heartbreaker. <laughs> Kitty cat lover, thanks for the five gifted memberships. That was very generous of you. Teresa Finn, thanks for the super chat. Says, ah, Tug, I think you're great. Everybody thinks you're great. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I was trying to teach my AI to say jokalism. <laughs> you messing it up. I finally figured it out. I had to break it down in like three pieces, but it'll say jokalism now. So it's oh, that's funny. Well, yeah. Mama, thanks for the super chat. Says not only did Shara subscribe, but you got super chats. Did she send super chats? Oh, well, we got the super chats from you guys telling me she was here. Sarah Marie says, I love Bette Midler. I have seen her perform live in Australia approximately 20 years ago. She was in incredible skits were so funny and voice was perfect thanks for that super chat yeah and it was because of a lot of hard work she was not born with that talent she literally just made it happen for herself and and that is possible like you can take anybody can learn how to sing well maybe not anybody but i think that i think shara could get better at it if she dedicated her her time to it instead of you know chasing around the mayor, the current mayor, or the former mayor of Otter Creek AI. for unknown reasons. AI. <laughs> you don't have to be able to sing. Come on. True. true. I liked all of her honorable mentions on her blog. I'm definitely going to laugh at that. I mean, talk about that tomorrow. I'm going to. I can't stop myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, about those honorable mentions, by the way, we were going to talk about that. So the she says that she won five honorable mentions and the certificates. And this was a billboard songwriting contest. And it says it was the 16th annual song contest on the certificates. That's what it says. Well, I did look up the winners and you can't find the um, they don't list the uh, honorable mentions. I guess there's too many of them to list or something, so you can't find them anywhere. I did, though, send a press inquiry to, billboard, to the Billboard Awards to ask them if they had a record of it so that we could verify it. But I haven't heard from them. The top 1,500 get an honorable mention. <laughs> the top 1,500 songs. <laughs> I just found that. It says on there, okay, this was at least the rules for the 18th annual. I looked up Billboard World Song Contest, how many honorable mentions. And it says, all entries will receive a personal song evaluation and the top 1,500 songwriters will receive an honorable mention certificate. So if you only had 1,500 people or say 13, everyone gets one. 
It's like a participation <laughs> vote. That's it's true. But, well, she made a big deal, though, because she said nobody ever got five before. And she quoted an unnamed, uh, she quoted an unnamed, I don't know, person who allegedly works at, I don't know, the Billboard Music Awards. Wait, are these whatever. all from the same year? Yes. And supposedly this unnamed person said it was extremely, you know, unusual that someone would win five in a row. Now, if that's true, now here's the other weird part about it though. The <sighs> five songs, said. the five songs, I was really interested, like, oh, maybe these are good songs. Like I, so I went to find them and they've been taken down from everywhere. They're not on Spotify. They're nowhere. You would think if you won these awards for these five songs, you'd have them up for everyone to hear because, you know, some music executives said they were good, but they're nowhere. Can't find them anywhere. trying to see how many people actually you know participate in this stuff well i found some stuff on reddit like people do like submit their songs for it and they do get excited when they get honorable mentions sure. which is sure i mean i've never written a song tug hat tug you should submit your songs oh my tug, god that, submit they're gonna hear your songs yeah they're gonna hear all about the adam Barilla guy and how he has a platinum grill you need to submit you know? your song. Oh my God. It'll if be you like, win an honorable mention, I will die. Oh my God. I'm going to, I could have so much fun with the titles. It would be like, honorable mention presented to that umbrella guy in recognition of having uh, the original composition two inch pipe girthy in platinum grills or something You're like what <laughs> girthy in platinum oh. grills uh, what no okay. I got, I got kids, like, if she says girthy wanted. the next time she's out at karate lessons <laughs> oh, no. you're in trouble no, you can hear her I yell all the way from the stairs she yells from the stairs that's how i know to stop <laughs> hey, what what do you need i mop the floor you mop the floor give me a thought yeah. Ooh, floor it's mopping. Kitchen because Sissy made a mess. Sissy made a mess. Oh, did she now? Yeah. Sissy did it. Oh, okay. So if I ask Sissy, will she say you did it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> she will. Okay. All right. Well, you go upstairs. I'll be up there and check out your work. Hey, it's all mopped. Okay. I have my feet on the whiteboard like this. Oh, that's awesome. All right. I give my feet on the mopper. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's very inventive. And the kitchen is so slippery. <laughs> it's slippery. I get all the bubbles away and just it's slippery. Oh no god! Hey, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go. It's see slippery. It. It's yeah. slippery. Well, I heard the word. I heard the bubbles are up. I'm like, what? Uh oh! <laughs> you better go check. You better go <laughs> yeah, check. Oh yeah, he's in trouble. <laughs> he's in trouble. There's slippery bubbles all over the floor. <laughs> Hey, Matt Red Cream, thanks for the super chat. Says, watch Madam Mayor video story tonight of Lynette and John and their flip on her and her husband. Tug reinforces Lynette's story. Madam Mayor video story tonight of Lynette and John. Okay. All right. I will have to look it up. Terry, thanks for the super chat. American Woman Thrifter says, can you post the Miko link? I will post it again. I think he is only on Facebook now. Um, so let me put that in the chat for you. Here is Miko. Hey, it's on Facebook. This is Facebook, a Facebook link. He only does Facebook now, which is so weird. I, of all the platforms, I choose YouTube. I find Facebook really frustrating. I don't like it at all as a platform. Jill Max Martinez, thanks for the 20, says, my sons are all recording artists. What's the name of the artist? And I'll see if I can research it. Right now, my youngest is in Nashville. Uh, the artist's name is Shara Michelle, S-H-A-R-A -A, Michelle. Um, and she says she won five honorable mentions in the 16th annual Billboard Songwriting Contest. Uh, and I just can't find any, you know, evidence of that. Um, but that, that could just mean that they don't post it. I'm not saying I don't believe this. It's just I find it strange that if you had five winning songs that at least got an honorable mention, wouldn't you have them up for everyone to hear and try to sell them? They used to be on Spotify, but it looks like they, they took them down now. So, yeah, all of Tug shampoo bottles are empty. So this is an interesting thing too. I, I do believe that there could be some manipulation, some online manipulation happening. Now, people do often 
Uh, and I don't know if this is the case, but it, it sounds like it. I use Copilot to ask me, or not ask me, to I ask Copilot to tell me about things. You know, it's an AI. Oh, man. <laughs> Are all your shampoo bottles empty? No, no. She got this Swiffer and uh, she decided uh, she was going to clean the floor, which I was like, okay. So she That's used great. the whole bottle of Swiffer on the, the floor. The whole bottle? On the whole bottle. <laughs> Dang. Is it clean? Is it nice and clean? I bet oh, it it's good. nice and shiny and very, very damp. I was like, yeah, I wiped some of it up. And then I was like, all oh, right, no. I have a I have a floor buffer. I was like, I'm going to let it dry for a minute. Then I'm going to go buff the damn floor. Oh, so. no. Is it wood? Yeah, it is. But it's all good. It, it won't hurt it. It's been a... Uh, you know, it's, all, it's all good. She didn't hurt so, anything. She tried to clean them. I'm proud of her for trying. <laughs> oh, no, good for her. Yeah. Uh, good for her. One time I did this thing that I read about with keeping kids busy at home and also letting them help with chores. Mm -hmm. And I told them to put bathing suits on and I was going to let them get soapy water buckets and slip around on the floor and basically clean it, you know, just slipping around on the floor in their bathing suits. And here's some towels you can wipe up after yourself. I'm so dumb. I didn't realize at the time that the floor was laminate and it lifted the floor and it oh, started no. happening so quickly that I was like, Oh, we're done. I'm grabbing a towel and I'm like trying to dry it as fast as possible. And they, they were like, no mommy, this is so fun. All right. So here's what I think is happening here. I think there might be some, wait, I need to WD 40 my mic stand. It's like squeaky. It's here's, so here's what I think is happening. I think that maybe there's some manipulation going on in the, in the Google results for the joke list. This is what I asked co-pilot. I said the billboard world song contest selected five songs from Cher Michelle's LP for honorable mention. The songs chosen are When I Dream, Till the Sky Falls, You Are Beautiful, Can I Believe, and Golden Heart. A Billboard spokesman stated it's extremely rare for an artist to have four songs among amongst finalists. You are the only one to ever receive five. No, this was not what I typed. I just typed in, tell me about Cher Michelle. And this is what came up. And this is literally the exact same wording that's on her website exactly the same. So then it says the Billboard World Song Contest recognized Shara Michelle by awarding her honorable mentions for five songs from her LP. These exceptional tracks include, and then it tells you, and then according to the Billboard spokesperson, it's exceptionally rare. Oh yeah, I must have, what I did was I copied and pasted it. That's what I did. And it came up in like her co-pilot results right? Sharon Michelle's achievement stands out as she is the only artist ever to receive recognition for five songs in this prestigious contest. Her music talent has certainly left an indelible mark. So I asked it, where did you get the above information? Uh, let me see. I got, I've got that. I need to pull up the next one. I think I've got them all out of order, unfortunately. Let's see. Where did you get? Here it is. Uh, share this instead. Here's the next one. Where did you get the above information? The information about Cher Michelle and her songs comes from various sources. All music. Cher Michelle's discography, including top tracks and albums, can be explored on all music. This platform provides details about her music career and releases. But when you go there, there's nothing there. Broad... <laughs> Broad Jam, while not directly related to Shara Michelle, Broad Jam mentions songs that have received honorable mentions in the Billboard World Song Contest. For instance, Black Emerald and Run Into the Sun are among the recognized tracks, but when you go there, her stuff's not there either. Billboard Song Contest number three, the Billboard World Song Contest itself is a prestigious event where songwriters have the opportunity to be heard by industry professionals. It offers personal song evaluations Oh, I wonder if you have to pay to submit your songs. Oh, like those poetry things where you have to pay. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you get every one of them gets into like a book. And everybody gets an honorable mention. What year did Cher, Cher Michelle get honorable mentions for the Billboard World Song Contest? Oh, and it also said Cher Michelle's talent has certainly left a lot, a lasting impression. And her recognition of five songs in the contest is truly remarkable. And it answered me when I said, what year? It just said, Cher Michelle received honorable mentions for her songs in the Billboard World Song Contest. While the exact year is not specified in the provided information, 
it's worth noting that she achieved this remarkable feat during the contest's history. <laughs> this, this tells you nothing. The it's build, quoting. It quotes it from is. whatever source it can find. So it's, it's quoting, quoting her. <laughs> her. Yeah. It's quoting her. Um, and it says that it left an indelible mark. Okay. Again, like this is not giving me any information. So, and then look what I asked it. This is so funny. This cracks me up. I love talking to AI, by the way. I find it hilarious. I said, where are you getting the phrase left an indelible mark? That sounds like an opinion. Is that a quote from somewhere or is that Bing's opinion? And it said the phrase left an indelible mark is not a direct quote from any specific source. It's a figurative expression often used to convey the idea that something or someone has made a lasting and significant impression or impact. In this context, it emphasizes the remarkable achievement of Cher Michelle receiving recognition <laughs> for five songs in the Billboard World Song Contest. The phrase is not attributed to Bing or any specific opinion. Rather, it reflects the impact of her talent and success in the music industry. And I said, what success has Cher Michelle had in the music industry? <laughs> Listen to this. It just repeats what it just said. While specific details about her overall career may not be wild, widely available, here are some insights into her work. And then it gives me, again, the same things, the same things that it already said. Um, let's see, where's the other one? There's more. What did I do with the other one? Ah, oh, I love the one that says, uh, oh, yeah, here it is. So this is my the end of my conversation with AI about this situation. So it lists all her songs again. And then it says number two, this is the first time it pulled this up. Independent advocacy journalism. Shara Michelle is also involved in independent advocacy journalism through her platform, Freedom Public Press. Her daring heart drives her work advocating for victims of injustice. Her daring heart. <laughs> Which is, again, the thing that she puts on her website. So it's pulling from her website. Yes. Yep. Number three, discography and musical exploration. While specific commercial success details may not be widely documented, Shara Michelle's discography and musical journey continue to resonate with listeners. Do they, though? <laughs> Do they? Her songs such as Diamonds and Water and Bluebird on this Mountain showcase her artistic expression and emotional depth. Remember, the music industry is multifaceted and success can take various forms, <laughs> whether through critical acclaim, personal fulfillment, or connecting with audiences. Cher Michelle's talent and dedication have undoubtedly left their mark. Uh, you want to, you want to hear something funny? You want to hear mm -hmm. some jokalism songs? Yes. Did you find, did you make one? I'm so excited. Yeah, I don't have lyrics on top of it, but since it's rap, who cares? You can, okay, have, you can understand most of it. Here I we go. Wait. Let's see how this came out. If it's got to, <laughs> if it mispronounces something, that's my fault. Cause I haven't had time to work it through, but I've been playing with it. Here we go. Check it out. Every day she scribbles a punchline with a pen. Jokalism in a journal. You're not hired. Can't you comprehend the blank page? No one paid for it. Taunting her ambition. Obsessed with the hell. But can't write a single composition. Stay tuned. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stay tuned. Demo works just fine. Reporting from Turtle Purgatory. Hey, wait, what's my line? Riding the rails of justice. She's reporting from the fringes. Did you read a request? Even the mayor grins. Shirtless, live from Lady Cow. Stop making money, making this harassment with a bounty. I've got a rock eater holding it. Turn in your best stop. Cease and desist. Broadcasting live from Facebook. Three lights you can't resist. It's about where we are now. Oh, oh my God. I love uh, it. Your, uh, your camera works time. just fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think that one should win a billboard. That yeah, one. Definitely. Should... At least get an honorable mention. <laughs> that was a rock eater. That was a rock eater. Yeah, I put, that, I put the rock eater in there. It's a rock funny. eater. I got that rock eater in there. 
I was oh like, you know. gosh, Robert Henderson. Thanks to the super chat says new to the Fox den entertaining and hilarious. Glad you're having a good time. I know we are. We're having a good time. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we've been going for three hours here. <laughs> Indeed. We had a lot of things to, to cover though. We had a lot of, we had a lot of rabbit trails to go down. <laughs> didn't we? I'm, I'm looking oh. to see if there's somebody I can redirect you guys to um, who's live right now. Oh, my God. Is he still live? If he is, you're all going to go to Sean McMillan's channel and give him a thrill uh, because he's my favorite lawyer. Is he? Oh, he ended it. Damn oh, it. No. Damn it, Sean. Do that. Oh, he ended it. Well, you guys should go there anyway to Sean McMillan's channel caps and stems law, because he plays the best, the best, um, whatchamacallit, uh, depositions from CPS. You want to talk about a real warrior against CPS, Sean McMillan, he sues under federal statutes of, uh, the 1983, um, constitutional violations. And he gets these people on in these depositions and they are amazing, amaze balls. So I'm trying to find you somebody that's streaming right now. And it looks like a bunch of people that I know are not currently live. Well, wait a minute. It looks like Nicholas Starro is live. Oh, he's doing what the hail's hearing three. Perfect. All right. I'm sending you over to go see Nicholas. Please tell him that I sent you and show him some love. Show him some some serious love. Did she just say, how long do you have left? No, she, said, she said, I want to sit on your lap and talk. Oh. That's what she Aww. said. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I want to chat. Aw, <laughs> what a cutie. She, Linda, she thanks for being us. a member. It's all uh, it's all in my headphones, so she can't hear. She so can't hear. Know. Thanks for becoming yeah. a member. Thank Welcome you. to the Fox Den. <laughs> And ship sloppy jalopy. Thanks for the super chat says, don't forget to check Madam Mayor's latest. No, I won't forget, but I'll, I'll do it after the show. Janice Wingfield. Thanks for the super chat says shark gives you more than three hours worth of material. This is true. And can you imagine the posts she's going to make tonight? Just imagine how much more fun that we are going to have. All right, Tug, what do you got coming up? I will be live tomorrow doing something. I'm not sure. <laughs> but tomorrow I have to be. I you know, I've been off for two days and then I did something one day before that and I was off for two days. So everybody show up please because the algorithm will hate me otherwise. So Oh yeah. yeah. Please yes, do show up. We'll hear. laugh at stuff. We'll we'll uh, finish some music and do whatever. Who knows? Awesome. And good night, little bug. Be quiet just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, be quiet. Be she's quiet. she's taking the she's i watched the uh chat on my phone and she's picked it up and she's like oh man look at all of them yeah you're getting team views yep <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like so cute. Cute. all right i'm gonna leave you guys with tug's new epic masterpiece for this show tonight because i want to hear it again oh, yes. Go tell Nicholas that we love him. Go subscribe to his channel. You're being redirected over there. Later. Nigga, you smart, dropping bombs on your news. Might drop in the lungs, not the press news. Mainstream spinning, but I won't play that game. A nuclear flow turning at you for motivational flame. Megan Fox crushing all the talking heads as they spoon feed their paid piggies. Gotta keep them misled with blazing Lego vision. I see it all the time. Exposed in the agenda, miss these epic rhymes. Intellectual on the soul, on the mainstream, not in the current. Can burn water, but I'm spitting facts. Top shelf, sorting mass facts, reporting news, and not like you make it. I'm award winning, and I don't have to fake it. Megan Fox, an authentic voice, giving the masses a hard hitting choice. That umbrella guy, hammering his song, while Megan Fox writes those wrongs. Now we hit the end of this tune, declaring war. Class.
best thing you never knew. By the time my friends sing.